to tweet out real quick. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I got myself crossed up. So, at least fucking these patch note states not mattering one bit. <laughs> it's, they always come out the day before. I'm like, right, we're always like, all right. Cool. We have uh, we have another day to go through this real quick. No big deal. And then no big deal. It's, it's like wait a it's second. The same exact thing that happened with the fucking Tekken notes. I was like, I have one more day, and then I might miss like five characters. I definitely missed the majority of the cast because it dropped early. Just did that. God damn it. Okay, I didn't lose my character off that. Bless. First, thank you. Oh, I gotta test that. Well, it's laggy, so that might not work. Is that our thing is out? Am I live? Hello? Hello? Yeah, okay, we're good. Alright, hey. Let me retweet that real fast. Uh, update info. Try that one. Uh... I'll try a couple, of, a couple of the Ragna things real quick. Oof. Sweet, I'm out. Trying to remember what, what we were talking about yesterday. Lower the height of the knockback on C. So then we said C gauntlet Hades. No. Oh, I still back up into it. Uh, all right, gauntlet. Crap siege. Drop this. Uh, who was I looking at? Oh, yeah. Oh, I used my 2C already. I'm fucking bad at remembering shit. 5A. What did he say? Don't miss Hades. There's one other thing we said. Jump cancelable gauntlet Hades. Oh right. <laughs> I hope that's not on block. I hope the fucking god it's not okay. on block. Let me at block. least try it on hit. Holy shit. 
<laughs> That's crazy. Hold on. I gotta, I gotta try something. No, it, it's not on block, but I just, I just did something like I just did five, five BB Gauntlet Hades, Rising Hades, Jump Cancel Gauntlet Hades, Rising. It just looks really dumb. Like it's not good. It doesn't do a lot of damage. It's just really stupid looking. Like <laughs> you just having fun. It's, yeah. That's all. It's just it's a really dumb fun. looking combo. All right, let me try it on block. Now let's let's. Uh, are we clenching our buttholes? Let's see. A little bit. A little bit. Oh, you can totally jump cancel it. <laughs> fuck. Oh, no. Oh, and if you jump cancel it, like, with a tap, you can cross up. It's so easy. <laughs> Game is wild now. 5 VB, Gauntlet Hades, Rising Hades, jump cancel. Boom. Since they give that 5 BB buff, too, this shit's crazy. Here. Uh, let me do this real quick. So wild. That's not bad. The team's actually not bad. It's just silly. Whew. Pretty good.
That's what I wanted to hear. Oh, I knew that overhead was coming. All right, you got it. Oh. Yeah, she's mad cool. She's actually cool as fuck. I just lost my character. Oh my fucking god. I mean, to be fair, Subaku is actually like, she's good. It's just like, a lot of people, yeah, a lot of people don't like play her. And I tucked into that. And um, she's weird at first. She's really weird. But she has like one of the best DPs in the game. Probably the best DP in the game. Nightmare avoided. Not safe. Not enough delay. Sure.
platinum? Five BB. Five BB. Oh, wait, that's not a special. Well, maybe. <laughs> or they might have. They might have reverted it because, like, sometimes they do, like, either they don't push out patch notes or they they're just like, all right, we're not gonna do this anymore. Or hey, here's something else that we didn't catch. Thanks, guys. Azrael is odd with the way his confirms work. He does mad damage though. Like any good hit is like you eat like AK off of like one bar. The delay is mad long, isn't it? How's that? Sorry, I forgot my mic again. I'm a fucking idiot. I just wanted to. I just wanted to try some new things. How's it going, Zap? Jump nothing. I didn't jump. Do okay. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah. So it's like you have to like wait for the drop kick to hit the floor for you to special cancel, but it looks a little weird. But it looks like it could also be potentially really good. Let's see if I can get this timing right. Yeah, platysis is fucking wild. If you have good improvisation, you might be you you could be really really scary with her. Oh, I'm gonna try this again. Oof! I know I should have waited. I had an idea it was gonna happen. <sighs> I'm doing pretty well, Zap. Hope you're doing well. It's a good Monday. All the things that are on Monday, I don't care about, so it's a good time to stream. Mm. Like uh, Monday Night Raw, Monday Night Tekken. Uh, not Monday, Monday Night Tekken. Tekken. I mean Monday Night Football. Monday Night Tekken. Uh. I, was, I was looking at fucking Rip Stream. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Which I do care about, and I'm on there on a regular basis. Don't clip this. <laughs> We're dead. The VOD's gone. All right, <laughs> that's it. We started off strong. Gonna be like Obama stream. It's just like oh, oh man, I said say, I said something bad. We're deleting the vod. That's it. The vod, yep. <laughs> Vod's deleted. You gotta delete it like as you're streaming too. <laughs> just cancel the stream right there. Oof. Uh, let me see. John, I need to punch that. Stop getting hit by that. Free to attack that. It's fine. Uh, back throw now will fully knock down. I want to try this. I need the four. Oh, uh, you know, you know. It might be. It might be good for combos. It might be pretty good for combos. You might be able to do five BB. Um, five BB Rekka. And then call assist or something afterwards. Wait, let me try this. God, the fucking cancel window's so weird. Hey, 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 hey. Nice. All right. Learn that combo. Oh, shit, not nice. About to die. One more time. Maybe not. Alright. Yeah. The, the All those uh, BB Tag Azrael players are going to have to show me how to play this character. Yep. Uh, let's see. Okay. How do I split this? Oh, there we go. I have to pull it out. How's that? All right. Where Whoops. Is? There it is. That can't be there. All uh, right. 
voice to it. What's good? How's it going, y'all? What's up, everyone? We're going through part two, which I forgot where we stopped last time. Where did we stop last time? Stopped uh, with... Chie? I think it was right before Yukiko, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because I felt like if we were talking about Yukiko, we would have paid good attention to this character. Uh, because uh, she wasn't she wasn't very good. She wasn't, she Not was, at all. She wasn't very good. Despite having something that was probably considered broken, she was not very good. Okay. Uh, all right. Let me pull up some other shit on here. So I have the game up inside layouts like as best as I could possibly think about making it. It looks ugly, but it's at least all visible. Um, what else? Sweet. Let's go to Yukiko. All right. All right. So if you just, if you're tuning in now or for whatever, whenever I put up these VODs, uh, this, we went through everybody before Yukiko. And now we're going to go through Yukiko and probably the rest of the cast as much as we can. I'll try my best to like, uh, make some ideas on wh how the changes are going to play out with the characters like on stream like by playing them i mean but at the same time i don't play like 60 percent of these characters so we'll see what's up you will hear me playing in the background i'm actually just like playing the patch now because I'm, I'm at i'm at hype it's uh, a lot of people are very pretty happy People are pretty happy now. I think that uh, for the most part, like uh, they did a good job in terms of like getting everybody to be pretty excited after, except for maybe Ruby players. But you know, well, they, they had their well, time in the sun. Fuck them. Ruby's still fine. Yeah, I think she's, she's okay. No, she's still really good. She's still really good. She's just not like this fucking. I think she just had like way too much synergy. Like she was just so good. She was just such a base character. Like, uh, and she was so good at it. She was a good solo. She was so good solo. Yeah. She had everything. I was just like, oh my god. In a game where everybody has a DP, she had everything. Well, besides the command throw, but that's besides the point. She really need it. Give her... A, she just, that's what the patch notes should have been. Should have given her a command throw. That would have been sick. Ruby gets a command throw with all these nerfs. They, yeah, they apologize. She, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Arasan says, I'm sorry, we nerfed her. Here's a command grab. And she turns. And you're just like, wait a second. You're like, whoa. whoa. <laughs> Hello? Is that allowed? All right, there you go. Fucking. Hold on. Oh. Bing. Block that. Didn't block in time. I think I'm pretty sure that's punishable. Don't anybody tell you I'm a professional. I'm not. I mean, <laughs> me neither. Uh, stream is hard. All right. Let's get into this one. Oops. All right. Standing A. Oh, who's top tier after the patch? I have no fucking clue. I think everybody. The thing is, the problem with this patch is that everybody looks scary. Like, there may be some characters that look like they didn't get, like, crazy buff, but mo a lot of characters look really good now. I think, uh, look out for Ragna. I just tried some things, and I was like, oh boy. Oh boy. I think we might get more Ragna players. That team that Elyon was playing at, um, at Evo is really, really good now. Most likely. Yeah. What looked like a hodgepodge of nonsense probably looks like it's super strong now. Anyway. Alright, let's get into this one. Standing A. Extended hitbox where uh, Konohana uh, Sakia transitions to an attack mode. Attack motion. Uh, extended the, rate, the distance. Okay. Extended it. Hmm. So okay, that's pretty good. She goes a little bit farther. A little bit farther? Yeah, she goes about half screen now. She used to not go half screen. I remember that. Yeah. It's a little bit so, more than half screen. It's like sixty percent. That's that's a lot. Yeah, that's actually a lot. And uh, it does pretty good at homing too. 
So like if you're standing if you're standing like at forty percent range, she doesn't like take forever to come out. She uh it's it keeps the it keeps the startup frames a little bit low, which is nice. Okay. Um, there you go. Back A. Now can execute a crouching A. So can you do you can four do, A two A? You can do four A two A now. Uh, Wait, she couldn't do that before. Apparently. Holy shit. So she could have done two A four A, but she couldn't do four A two A. That's wild. Um, change the maximum of times uh, you can be used in a single chain, uh, matching that of crouch A. So, so you can do three four A's or hold on. Oh. Huh. I don't know what they mean by that. Do they mean that you can do three four A's in a row? But she has a four A sequence. Oh, I think what it is is that she now has the ability to put three of uh, of A's, which includes crouch A's and four A's. She can do like um, two A, four A, two A, or uh, four A, two A, two A, or <clears throat> two A, two A, like four A, something like that, where she could only do like maybe two or one before. So this makes it so that she can like sort of reset her pressure. So you can do like two A four A two A two A four A two A like in call assist or something. This is pretty good. I like this change. You see it it, it sort of makes a lot of sense. You can do two A two A four A call assist. Or uh two A four A and then they're expecting assist, so you get to do it again. Two A four A. And then go for a mix up from there. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. I like this. Yeah, I could see some scary things with this because you're doing if you could do two A four A and then call assist and then go for a mix up off it, you can do two A four A or four A two A and like get people to be really scared. You can't jump cancel two A. That's right. So you can do two A four A and then jump cancel. Yeah, this is pretty good. I like this. It's a good change. Jump B, reduce recovery, reduce landing recovery. Jump uh, forward B, jump back B. Oh, this is Phantos in there. Just a better projectile. Hmm. Oh, wow. You can do this really well now. You can do, like, air dash back, like, a uh, fan. It's, like, really good. Wait, you can now? Yeah, like, you can do, like, you do air dash back, 4B, uh, jump 4B, air dash back, jump 4C, and it's, like, really, like, I don't see how you do deal with this very well. Ugh. It's just kind of hard to do air dash back, jump 6B, or, but other than that, it's, like, not that, it's, it's, like, not that hard, actually. But, like, this is really good. Like, I could see some good zoning with this, honestly. Hmm. Hmm. It's sort of like a, it's sort of like a, a better, it's, it feels like Firecracker a lot more now. Maybe actually faster. Oh. It's, it feels way faster than Firecracker, actually. Where you're just, like, able to, like, jump in the air and just toss fucking projectiles at great angles. Yeah. That's pretty strong. Because, because like, Firecracker's already really good. Yeah. Let's see. Jump. You're oh you can do two in the air now. Holy shit. Oh. oh. You can do jump rising, jump falling, and you can definitely tag two people. And you can do two different angles too. That's so she's already looking pretty This is fun. She's already looking better. She looks like she's fun now. But I love project I love doing projectiles like this, like just tossing around projectiles this is like one of the more fun parts about characters for me which is why i like yang i love because she actually has a projectile Dude, i love like, doing tk fucking firecracker like can you do you like rising 
can do like rising uh, 4B from like a like a ways away, so you're avoiding DPs, mm -hmm. and then dash in afterwards. And you can when you're landing, you can just do landing 4B and then like another B afterwards to check, or you can do this into uh, for you can do falling B, falling B, stand B into 5A or something like that, and then from there you can really put mix-ups on. Or you know, there's a lot. There's a lot to be done here. I think this is this is like little to no recovery. It's very. It feels very nice. Mm. I like this. This is good. Okay. Uh, jump C increase blowback. Uh, reduce landing recovery. Or reduce landing recovery. Huh. Right, you can go. Yeah. What's the next character? Oh, that's pretty good. If someone lets you do this, you you should get rewarded on on. Um, this sort of has a bit of startup. It's like the the falling like Beyblade thing. Oh. <laughs> so now she can like uh, she can, like jump C and like. What is this? Hold on. Let me try this. Oh, <laughs> sick! All right. You jump 4B, C, and then you get mix-ups afterwards now. You can, you, so you can essentially put on wake-up pressure from, um... Like half screen? Full screen? About half screen. Uh, about, like, maybe th third of the screen. Mm. But you don't have to be near them is the thing. Like or you, if you decide to go near them. The like a high low mix up. Yeah, and then there's so much from here. This is so cool. She might be a lot of fun now. Um, smart combo, uh, all four A's, increased travel distance. Yeah, the whole thing. So if you're full screen, I think. Oh, oh wow! I didn't used to do that before. Bling, bling, bling. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. This is crazy. Yeah, you can do this from from almost 60% uh, of the screen now. Easy. Travel distance is great. Okay. Grounded A, Aggie. Aggie is quarter four B. Oh, okay. Uh, ch lower the blowback of the first hit. So it'd be on hit. Oh, okay. So it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, keeps them pretty close. So you can end combos with this or, uh, put people in lockdown. Okay. I like this. Lower the block, uh, the, the blowback time so it doesn't push them as far away. And then grounded B Aggie increase on tech time. Doesn't, doesn't feel like much. Oh, actually, you know what? That might be something. Yeah. It's a increased on tech time on a move that blows them back out. So if you can do like... You can toss a couple fans afterwards now. That's nice. Hmm. Okay, there we go. Okay. Okay, I can see I can see where the game's coming together. For her at least. Yeah. Maragi, um increase blowback, height and distance. And change the knockdown from a normal knockdown to a rolling knockdown. Hmm. Hold on. There we I'm go. Trying to see what like a, a non-rolling knockdown looks like okay Oof. it feels like it gives you a little bit better time to work with 
Yeah, this game is a lot of fun, Zaptor. It is, uh, it's simple, simple to start with. There's a lot of depth to it, and, uh, I, f I feel like you can, you can sort of find what you want in this game. If you want to play, if you want to play neutral and, and just, like, press buttons, there's a lot of characters that do that very well. If you want to play Rushdown, or you want to play Grapplers, like, these are all viable characters that are very good in this game. Uh, and any mix in between, uh, it seems like they've had some success in tournament, so... Yeah, I, I I really like this game quite a bit, and there's a bunch of characters. Same. Yep. Uh, flame boost, reduce recovery. That's two two a, right? Yeah. Flame boost is two two a. Wow. All right, two two a recover uh, gets one of fire boost. Reco reduce recovery changes the number of times B reduces health by one. Oh, they used to take a little bit more. So. Uh, let me see. How do we do default? So, okay, so it just takes it. Yeah, it just takes a, a small chunk of health. Yeah, that used to be more. And then the 2-2-C version still takes health, but, like, you get two charges. That's a little bit faster. Yeah. But it's way fast. Okay. Mm. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I like that. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be a big part, but, you know, you if you're willing to do it, you know, it, it does just make red life. So it makes it slightly more worth it than just doing 2-2-A. Okay. Uh, fire boost. Fire flame boost. Reduce recovery. Okay, cool. Reduce recovery. Flame boost. Uh, Whew. So much. All right, Agadine. Ex Agadine, or uh, fiction issue where their invincibility time was shorter than normal Agadine. That's good. Fine. Full bloom. Uh, full bloom. Increase startup speed to her astral heat. Cool. Uh, neutral tech. Increase the tech time. Untech time for the first set. Hmm. Uh, that was. That's the health recovery one. Oh. Okay, uh, it's it's noticeable. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I like that. Uh, health. Forward partner seal, increase the untech time on the hit. Oh, wow, that's all the way to the floor. Yep. The big giant bird all the way to the floor. Now Yukiko faces. Yukiko will not face the opponent when the Phoenix Flame. This feels like a bug, or it feels like a typo, because it just says when the Phoenix Flame. Uh. Yeah. I think it's just a bug. Yeah, that's that's a typo. All right. She faces. Oh wait, no, no. Wait. What? What move is that for again? Uh, her forward partner, her six P. She's the big giant, the bird, comes around. The phoenix. When the, the phoenix way. Yeah, I guess that wording is awful. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's fine. Yeah. This character, though. Whew. She looks like she's she looks like she's a lot more fun. Mm-hmm. I'm going to talk. Like, I might play her a little bit just so I can toss fans, which is what I like. I, I love playing the characters like this. Her tossing fans, like, whew. I just want to toss fans. Uh, uh, uh. I'm a very simple person. I like playing characters that can spam shit or loop shit. That's, uh, okay, I was about to say, why do you play Kai? And I was like, yeah, Kai kind of does that. 
Yeah, I just mm, spam fireballs full screen. <laughs> and loop DPs. Dude, you know how much I miss the the javelin loops? That's my favorite oh, favorite thing about playing ACR. And it got javelin loops mid screen. That shit was dope. And javelin loops in the corner with the with the wall splat one. God bless. That shit was sick. All right, cool. Move on. Let's go to Kanji. Kanji, hey, you know, I didn't feel like Kanji was bad. I just feel like he got outclassed by all the other grapplers. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a fair assessment. Because, like, he's also slow like the other grapplers, but his neutral just felt like shit. It felt like you had to, you, you really had to, like, play around, like, sort of your opponent really messing up first or uh, just letting you in. The the only yeah. the good thing though is that he has he has drop kick and drop kick is insane. What's the frame dude on drop kick? Uh, for his five P, it's like something magical probably. Oh, let me see. Five oh, so five P was plus thirty two on its own. Oh, that's so fast. He still had 4P, and 4P was like actually a uh, pretty good lockdown if you got it to connect. It was just like a big delay. I feel like they made that faster. They could have. That'd be nice. Anyway, all right, let's do it. Kanji. Hitbox uh, expanded downwards for his 4A. Four, uh, four that's just like the regular kick, so that's nice. Mm -hmm. I feel like there might have been some low profile situations that I don't remember that were obvious to them. Because there's a, this is across the board. Or it might just be a more consistency thing. Characters might have dropped out of combos or something. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 4 a and hitbox downwards. Normal throw is now executable off 4-A-A. And uh, back 4-A. Oh, nice. That was actually mad helpful. Oh, yeah. You can, to... you can definitely catch people with this. Cause like that's your other tick throw. Yeah. That's like you're not your 360 tick throw. That's what the game allows you to do without a problem. Yeah, this is this is good. I like this. It's a uh, pretty scary, honestly. This is this will be, this will open up uh, a lot of his game. So you can do you can do 4A throw. You got to worry about that or 4A 5A throw or 4A 4A 5A throw. A lot of that all, all works now. <laughs> nicer layout. It's not that it's like a nicer layout. It's, a, it's more uniform. It's just like everything's put together now. It doesn't look like a complete and utter mess. <laughs> it's just... It, I couldn't get it as nice as uh, I wanted to, but this, is, this will do. Fuck, I just had an idea for a nicer format, but whatever. I think I tried that actually, and then it didn't work, or I didn't like it for whatever reason. So we saying that Dustly was not the greatest website for this. Either way, it was pretty. It's uh, I'm, it, it works for now. I just want to. I think the preview is all I really wanted. It doesn't need to be huge. All right. Uh, three BB standing A is now executable. Oh shit! You can do three BB, or you can do uh BBA now, five BBA. Oh, that's so good. Holy that's shit. so good. And it combos. Yeah, and it combos. And on top of which, you now you got the, the buff to the throw as well. That is so good. You can do All right, so he, def he definitely got buffed. 5BE... 5BB 4A or 5BB 5A and then oh, partner oh, other character partner all right ooh baby this is fun this is fun they didn't get so they, much damage off that yeah this is gonna be really cool uh B Buster let me see let me throw it up. Isn't B Buster attack? What is this Buster attack? Is this just his command grab?
Is it the follow up to that? Hold on. I'll have to find out. Uh, name your shit. Increased frame advantage. I guess maybe it's a chair attack? Is it? Uh, that says cruel attack. Increase frame advantage on Buster attack. What is Buster? Hold on, let me let me try to look it up on uh, on like uh, Persona Four. Buster attack. I love how they don't put it on the command list either. Uh. So it's like either they forgot what it's called or they're just like, oh, this is what it's called. It's like, nah, not fam. Buster attack. Oh, no, wait. That's uh, Kanji. Cruel attack. This will hurt. Cruel attack. Bet your ass whooping. Burn to a crisp. The man series bro fist. Yeah, this is not helping. <laughs> Fucking Christ. All right. Uh, Kanji. Is it his anti air persona command grab? That. Maybe. That's the only thing I can think of. All right. Well, it's not. It's not in the. It's not in Persona either. So it might be. This is not helpful whatsoever. This is great. <laughs> B Buster attack. All right. It's buffed. Believe me. This and this will hurt. Increase frame advantage. Hold on. This will hurt. This will hurt this is, is a command grab. Yeah. Yeah. This will hurt is command grab. Okay. Increase frame advantage on hit. It's a command grab. It's a command grab. Cre increased frame advantage on command grab that hits. <laughs> I don't know. Here. Uh, Wait, uh, hold on. Place to put this. I'll make this smaller. So I do command grab a jump. Oh, he gets a safe jump now. Right here. This is better. Cause I don't think he had this much advantage before. There we go. Uh, yeah. I guess. Let me let me see. Cause I just did it. Like if you do command grab, hold up forward and then block when you when you like landing. Huh. That's that's, that's kind of it's kind of good. Yeah. If that's what they meant, then that's really good. I can dash up five B now. That's the thing that's like that. immediately apparent for me. You can do you can dash up five B. That's really good because yeah. you do five B B. 5BB, yeah, 5BB, 5A. Oh, this is like really coming together in terms of patch notes now. They had a, they had a really good idea on how to buff this character. I mean, I still think he's gonna struggle. It's just gonna be a little bit less of a struggle. It's like it's not gonna be better because if he gets the command grab, he doesn't lose. Like he doesn't have to like because like any time when a command grab or oh, command grab character has to like sort of put himself at risk in order or to get a command grab and then afterwards basically has to play the game all over again kind of sucks mm -hmm. yeah all right gotcha now fully invincible until the end of the recovery on hit we you, you can oh man you know what that means is that he was getting hit out of that by delayed assists oh that sucks oh that mad sucks. So if you call if you called a, a assist that was delayable or had a long startup, then he pro he was able to hit, get him hit out. Now that is no longer the case. That's nice. Ex cruel attack. Command curve? Uh, the chair slam. Oh. Increased frame advantage. It was plus three before. Okay, so it's really plus now. Oh, because he was in knockdown. Yeah. Um, this will now result in a full knockdown. Yeah. Cool. All right. Cool. Yeah, that's good. Uh, get the the this in general right here. All of these change. All of these last changes. We're all put together into having a, a, a more stable game plan, which is very nice. So, but it does mean that you have to be more wary. So, if you're if you're looking, you have to look out for when he's canceling stuff now. So there's a there's a lot more 
there's a, not, a lot more intensiveness you have to do when you're playing against this character, which is good. You have to sort of recognize what he's used already, what he hasn't used, um, how far he is in his Gatlings, where he is in his Gatlings, and uh, which moves are able to be canceled. So all of those things are are, bi are are things to worry about. This is good. This is good. You sort of you sort of have to think a lot more when you're playing against him instead of holding down back and waiting for the command grabs. <laughs> now you're now you're sort of if you let if you just let him do that, he's just gonna reset pressure. Pressure, yeah. Yeah. Uh, be right back. Sure. You can continue without me. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, whenever you get back into it. All right, let's go next one. Naoto. All right. Naoto. Now, you know, I thought Naoto was pretty good, um, to be honest, but I, I never saw much of him. Much of her. Um, so... I was just curious because I, I, felt, like she, I felt like she was really good. And then I, ne I never saw anybody play her. Uh, on, I was seeing like some people saying like there was a lot of setups for her, you know, for her death shot or whatever it's called. But at the same time, I was really surprised. Uh, no one, be, well, no one would be playing her. Anyway, uh, let's see. Jumps or now so up here. Uh, now so. Second hit of the root of the attack uh, extended upwards. Huh. Uh, this could make it better for people who are in the air. So if they get launched for one way or another, you can do 5 AA for um, it confirms now. You probably need to do something like this now and then cancel it. But now you can do 5 AA or like something like that might work. For AAA, throw is no longer executable. This is one of the first nerfs I've seen in this way. Yeah, you see you get command grab now if you try to put B plus C. Interesting. All right, crouch B. Now jump cancelable. That's kind of fair. Um, I'm trying to think of a situation where this needed to be jump cancelable. It does. It does create for something like that. So if you're hitting this range right here, this is this is right. So that's nice. You don't have to be in front of her face. Catch people on the way out too, and that's the thing too, right? If for anti-airs, that'll be really nice. Actually, now that I think about that, it'll be good for anti-airs. So anti-air up, and then you're able to chase them afterwards, which is very nice. Yo, I didn't see this earlier. Curly and uh, kicks LA flare. Thank you for the follows. I appreciate it. I think my Streamlabs is not working. Huh. Could have sworn I got that to work a couple days ago, and I and I guess I didn't. That's really uh, really weird. Huh. I'll worry about that later. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. She has a gun, and uh, she shoots people. Makes a lot. More, it's, it's, it's from Persona, so she she has a gun. That's all. Yeah, that's it. I do have Streamlabs open, which is why I'm surprised. Uh, I'm trying to redo a lot of it, and I have it right here. And I tested it out like a while ago, and it was working. Which is why I'm like mad surprised. Why isn't it working right now? Like, of course, like. As soon as I get it, as soon as I try to get it to work, um, let me try to see this properties. Yeah, we're hundred percent worry about this later. I I tr I I have tried to test it twice now. It's not working for one reason or another. It's cool. All right. Crouch beat now jump cancelable. So now uh Nauto is now anti airing with this. That's cool. I'll just uh I'll just have to pay attention more to my 
phone, which is which is what I use for my st stream notifications. Sorry, right, we're learning how to stream. S streaming is hard. <sighs> what else? What else? What do we got? Okay. Crouchy Wee, now jump cancelable. Cool. Uh, I'm a fan of that. Head and vol. So, yeah. Anti-air, consistent anti -air. So, full combos off that. That probably al always needed to be there. Uh, let's see. Switch to this. Right here. Okay. Sweet. Snipe A, B, C are doing aim. Increased frame advantage. That's probably a good thing. Yeah, that's all. That's all better now. Cool. I don't expect this to be like crazy, but at the same time, I can see, you know, uh, a lot of stuff like. Hold on, let's get dummy. Where's uh, our block all? Yeah, now you have stuff here. Like this, this makes that a little bit more consistent, um, especially if you're right now. You're now you're doing this from full screen a little bit easier. I think that's where the buff comes into play here. There you go. That's pretty good stuff. I like that quite a bit. Now I'm thinking about it. Actually, if you're you're sitting here. Call sis. Yeah, that's really good, actually. So as long as you have partner meter, you can actually go for two mix-ups with this, as long as you go for gunshots. Even assists like Mitsuru. Gunshots, call sis. Air dash in. Go for mix-ups. Gunshot, call assist. Do it again. That's uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. It makes this uh, pretty scary. Hair trigger. Quarterback A, quarterback B. Alright. Wait, which one's my switch button? Okay, there it is. Yeah. Target. Um, it will now be destroyed along with the opponent's projectile when it comes in contact with it. Did it not before? Oh. No. Your projectile will just pass through it. That's really weird. Also, it seems good. But also, that means people can counterplay now, a little bit. Yeah, so you're not just like, oh no, I put up, I put up my uh, projectile, and there's just went through it. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, let me try something. Okay, there, yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. I think I think like Naoto can really play around with this with these changes so far. Come on, come on. Um, is that it's quarterback B plus C? Oh, that's our uh, that's the pillar super. Mhm. Mm it's way faster. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah, this is a great lockdown super, and I mean, if you really need to use it like that, but it does give people like two mix-ups. So that's cool. Uh, and Mudun changed amount of skill gauge it gives the opponent upon hit to zero. Oh, uh, it takes away your meter. Did it used to give you meter, I guess? No, they're just making it so that, like, oh, you're dead, you have no meter. Like, they're trying to keep it in tune with, like, the game, like, the Persona game, I guess. Oh, okay. I knew that Nato is probably one of the characters I played the least. Mm -hmm. Uh... Tch. Hmm. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, there. Uh, Naoto kind of didn't get changed all that much. 
Although the increased frame advantage on snipe uh, seems like it's pretty good. It's over, it's overall seems like something she she can really mess with. Um, but overall nerfed, I think, because if you had the ability to just fucking set up projectiles and not have them be messed with, that seems really <laughs> really messed up. But not nerfed and so bad that she won't be able to play anymore. So that's that's good. All right, cool. Mitsuru. Oh boy. This character is a. This character was so obviously good, mm -hmm. so quickly. Like it was, it was not even like nobody took more than two seconds to be like, think that this character was just crazy good. And uh, so yeah, we'll see. All right, Let's see, Mitsuru, uh, second hit of Jump C is now special cancelable. It's that one. Okay. Jump C. Uh. Wow. Okay. That's really good. Yep. I don't know why they would give that to her, honestly. Why not? Why not? Man. Why not? Man. Woo! All right. Oh, I should switch uh, Mitsuru. All right, eight lunge, extended travel time, extended active frames, decrease frame advantage. Okay, you know, hmm. uh, this probably means that at spaced it's safe, and then at, up close on block it's it's super punishable now. Yeah, which is fair. That was a problem before. Yeah. Um, same thing with B, but, uh, they increase the frame advantage. Sick. Jesus. So you can be anywhere from negative five to plus five, according to Dust Loop. So probably be around now from like three to a seven or eight now. Mm. Um, EX lunge, travel distance increased. Uh, almost full screen, but not quite. It's about from, like, if you were to put the opponent in the corner, it's about... Right at the end of your own health bars, uh, you'll just whiff. Okay, so like right in front of it. Yeah. So still great range. Hmm. Yeah. Forward partner skill fixed an issue where it did not do chip damage. Back partner skill fixed an issue where it did not do partner uh, chip damage. Fixed an issue where it received a counter hit on the active frames were over. So partner uh, assist got buffed. Overall probably unchanged really unless jump c jump c might open up some roots but for the most part still very 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 strong like this isn't she she didn't get changed pretty much at all i think maybe if anything she might have gotten buffed overall because of the dp changes but dp changes yeah other than that no okay I will go Let's into character select and get the next four up. Akihiko. Uh, oh. Crouch C. Sweep. Got buffed. During Cyclone combo. Extended the hitbox forward. Probably. Crouch, crouch and C during Cyclone combo. So I guess it means it's more stable. Yeah. Was there any combos where um, he used it? I'm trying to remember. I don't play Akihiko in this game yet. Uh, I, he had something like Kill Rush. And he went into like... He has his punch series. Yeah. Where I think after the second series, you do 2C and you do corkscrew, you get a knockdown. Okay. Well, knockdown. But, yeah, it was pretty good, actually. It's, it's good that they've made it so it's consistent. Yeah, that's uh, that seems like what the change is for, which is nice. Oof. All right. On to, I guess, Aegis. I guess. Aegis. 
Standing A, increased damage. Okay. Did it really? How much? How much is it doing right now? It's doing fifteen hundred right now. What did it do before? Hold on. I guess probably I can, not that much. I can look that up. All right, dust loop. Dust loop. Five A. Of course I can't. Never mind. Uh, all right. It does more damage. Also, jump A does more damage. Jump A, jump A doing more damage is probably more more of a buff than stand A doing more damage. Stand A, yeah. 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 So, uh, yeah, air air combos are gonna be a little bit better. What else? Uh, crouch B, crouch B, a large enlarge the hitbox when it is uncharged. Okay, so when it's just the regular hit. Mm -hmm. uh, extended active frames when it's uncharged. Okay, so just the regular move itself better. Better. Mm -hmm. oh. Fine. Yeah. I don't feel like that's gonna be that big of a deal. Maybe crouch B hitbox um, and active frames. I, it feels like for combos. I would say. It if probably anything. Be, probably make combos a lot better. Yeah. So stuff doesn't drop. Okay. Uh, does she have head, head and vol on her two B? Is that her anti? -er? I want to say yes. I feel like it should be. Uh, yeah, it says uh, nine to twelve. Not very much. Four frames of active uh, for or four frames of invol. Head invol is not great, but I guess she gets to do it better if you time it right. So that is something. What else? Uh, smart combo two AAA extended the hitbox downwards. Oh, this is another rising move. They're doing this oh, for a yeah. lot of them. A lot of changes are going this way for that. So, uh, more consistency on that on that road. Which is cool. Heavenly Spear. Change uh, the Spear. attack from projectile to body. This is the same thing. So it was a projectile before. Okay. Cool. Pretty sure that's her super, right? That's her uh, DP. Her oh, that's her DP. DP was also a projectile. What? Sick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Sick. So technically also buffed. Uh, we'll take those. Yeah. Seventh uh, radial cannon. Uh, quarterback two A. Or quarterback uh, A, quarterback B. Reduce uh, wall bounce distance in the corner. Okay. Let's see. So I guess if you're close into the corner, it doesn't wall bounce as much? Yeah, it stands like right. In, if you do like a uh, quarter forward B right in the corner, it just lands at their feet. Oh, nice. That's nice. Change oh, got got a shield. Change the attack attribute from projectile to body attribute. Again? Got a shield. What is got a shield? Oh, uh, what's it called? Rush super. Oh. Uh, big choo choo train. That was used to be also a projectile. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, it's still fully involved, so it doesn't it it might not blow through projectiles but it will at least ignore them mm -hmm. all right normal throw reduce blowback making it easier to follow up with regular attacks normal throw oh, okay so like they don't go as far yeah so i can do i can do 5a i don't know if you could have done that before but i can do no. 5a a. yeah or 5a so uh that yeah that combo got buffed so you do 5A is pretty easy. Can I air dash cancel this, maybe? I think so. It's oh like 5A, A, I, A, D. Yeah, okay, there it is. Hmm. Cool. Or something like that. Cool. Let's see. Initial partner skill. Reduce pull back first hit. Let's see. 
reduce blowback of the first hit. It might be that in some scaling combos it this it fell out. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. I didn't see it that often, so I, I, I guess that's a that's a good fix. Yeah. Can't seem to be a bad fix. Hmm. All right. Man, everybody Thanks. having a super low like anti -air is really or uh, air dash is weird in this game. <laughs> Doesn't guilty gear have like a minimum height? Of, yeah, like, uh, uh, some uh, characters have uh, different minimum heights than others too. Hmm. So, but like this, like this being so low is so funny looking. Just like it's an, I love instant air dashing too. So I do this all the time with characters. <laughs> all right. I just ID back. ID back jump B. What are you gonna do? I'm just a fucking blade. Just forfeit that space, man. This is this is the KOF character, uh, the KOF player coming out in me. Where I'm just like fucking back dash, jump to C, out of situations. All right. Forward partner skill project, um, projectile trajectory now adjusts according to the distance of opponent to the character. Wow, did it not before? That sucks. That does look. Yeah, it goes full screen now if it needs to be. Nice. Well, almost full screen, like 60%. Cool. Reduce the projectiles while bouncing the distance. Same change as her regular version. Cool. Okay. All right. Lapras. Weaver's Art Beast. C fix the issue where the collision box disappeared when blocked. Is what that is a super? Is that. I think so. That sounds about right. Can't wait till we get a tournament with Rat Lapras. Like I'm so excited for SCR. <laughs> oh man, I just want to see people just die to Red Axe for no fucking reason whatsoever. Ah, it's she, so sick. She has like solo combos that do like 14k. <laughs> it's so cool. It's insane. It's great. It's just like, it's, it's handed that shit to her. It's like, oh, okay. It's great. It's just like, hey guys, remember Red Axe? It's back. She's like, oh, what do you got to do for it? Almost nothing. Sick. All right. Uh, yeah, it's her uh, 236 BC. Just the, the forward, like, the Taurus to the, the Rising Slash. Oh, the bull, the bull. Yeah, bull to Rising Slash. Oof. Uh, Fix the issue where the collision box would just disappear. Sick. So you'd basically just toss yourself in the air for no reason. Dope. Ugh. All right. Move on. Undernight characters. Woo. Hey. I like most of these characters. I also I felt like a lot of the Undernight characters translated pretty well. Surprisingly, yeah. Yeah. Uh, af after hearing their design philosophy at that one arc live, I was really, I was really impressed, and then it made a lot of sense. Okay, sweet. Hyde. Uh, Hyde's fun. He's one of my favorite characters in this game. But I also play He's sword also characters. So. <laughs> sword boys, baby. Alright. Uh, uh, Pale Bringer's Arrows. Now invincible oh. on the startup. What is the fuck? I, I don't remember any of his names. Super. Is Pretty sure 236. Oh, BC. is that Pillar Super? No, that's the wrong one. 236 VC is Pillar Super. Pale Bringer's the one he runs across the screen. Oh. That's a good name. I should remember that. So, wait, Palebringer wasn't in Invol? Wow. That's <laughs> so you guys just got You guys just got hit for it for no reason. Holy shit. All right. Sick. Wow. So, go more ham? Probably. Go more ham. I like it. They throw a projectile full screen? Just do what it. Doing? Uh, man, I love how far it gets. They made it more anime. How cool is Wait, that? Wasn't there already anime in uh, no, uh, Undernight? Well, it didn't go full. It didn't take you from coast to coast. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it didn't. Yeah, you're right. Holy shit. Yeah, they made it more anime. <laughs> God bless. God bless. Holy shit. It takes you from corner to corner. It's so cool. Yeah, it, it straight up does. It, it's wild. Whew. All right. Forward partner skill. Increase recovery frames. What was Increased that? recovery frames. Yeah, nerfed. On orbital? Like I guess he guess he he left too fast? Doesn't feel like it's that bad, honestly. Huh. 
That's weird. It doesn't feel like it's that it, bad. If they re, if they re, if they increase the startup, I'd be mm -hmm. like, okay, that's a nerf. Yeah. But I feel like the recovery frames are probably negligible. Yeah, probably. Hmm. That's odd. A little bit odd. Man. The only reason I like playing Lene is because she gets to do TK Kugas, and they left TK <laughs> Kuga in the game, so this character is still cool. Yeah, TK Kuga is, is mad nice. Like, the A version goes directly below her, the B version so does this, like, weird 45 degree angle. Do you ever want to do, do you ever want people to just, like, not actually get hit by your stuff? <laughs> you just want to do block strings? Yeah, block strings and the Kuga repeatedly. Well, there's combos that lets you do, like, 2C, TK Kuga, 2C, TK Kuga, 2C. Like, you have to be in the corner for that. You get, like, four of those. It's pretty nice. That's sick. A lot of the times, I just want people to block. Like, when I play, like, my ultimate problem with DBFC is that people would stop blocking and then get hit. And that sounds really <laughs> stupid, but I just wanted to put dumb mix-ups on people. And then they get hit by the first one. I'd be so sad. And you're like, come on, man. Yeah, like, le dude, let me. I have three layers here, so I'm getting hit by the first one. Is there chip damage? Like, in the game in general? Yes. Yeah. Or yep. Chip damage is actually really apparent and uh, is a big problem with certain supers. <laughs> There's certain Oof. supers that will just do 25% of your health on chip alone. You just have to respect Some it. Some characters that in normals. Yeah. You just have to, you have to deal with it. It's a thing. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, Lene, uh, decrease additional paration on standing B. This move's already hard to hit, so it's probably just for combos, but still. The decrease paration means she gets more damage. Yeah. It's fucking nice. Yeah. You can't die from chip, though, but you can take all your life in chip. <laughs> if someone has, like, if you're, like, playing against a Batista and she has, like, nine bars. You yeah, just... she can be... You have all the red health, but like one piece of actual health. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, crouch A, decrease initial proration. So that's nice. Bless. Yeah. Two A combos don't don't scale like all, to all hell. Yeah, that's good. Overall better. Neutral partner skill. Increased start of speed. Increased. Yeah, that they they meet her five P. It feels faster. It feels so much faster. Like she yeah. just jumps and she just does it. And you're she like, just oh. goes into it. This feels but way, yeah, way yeah. faster, actually. Like, very Yeah, because before it was like, before it was like, eh, and now it's just like, oh shit. And she got nothing but buffs. It's great. Good. She was, uh, she was one of those characters that sort of, um, she sat in a really weird spot because I didn't think she was bad. I thought she was actually a really solid rushdown character. And the thing is that, like, having stuff like Jump C, uh, which is just her dive kick, mm -hmm. and, like, it being able to cancel it into Kuga, like, shit like that's really scary. Because then if you press a button after Jump C, then it's like, oh, wait, I got hit by Kuga. Like, yeah. she all the damage. And then she's doing Jump C and, like, landing on the ground. Now she's doing lows. Or now you're doing, like, TK Kugas and have more plus frames. Like, there's a lot of stuff here. But the thing is that I feel like overall... Uh, her game in like in uh, in Eunice was like being able to play around Kuga range, mm -hmm. and it feels like that's like not as good in this game because not really no. There more characters have... can disrespect it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like you're better off just trying to fish for like five B starters, um, two B, two C, and then confirm from there. Yeah. And also like mixing people up with uh, her two one four A. I feel like she's one of the characters that would have really uh, benefited from having, uh, what's that called? Having a, a proper air dash. Like she would have been, instead of having the assault. Mm -hmm. But, what do I know? Okay, sweet. But all unique characters have that though. Yeah, it's true. But like, I, I felt like uh, there are some characters that could have really benefited from it. But mm. she has dive kick. I don't know. Uh, I don't think this is gonna get her more play. It kind of it might be it might be an issue of she's not like crazy good and there's not a lot of Lene players because there's not a ton of Lene players in 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 Eunice any either way. 
Maybe not on the West Coast. On the East Coast, we have like two, three. We have three, I think. Really? Yeah, I think we have three. It's like Toki and like one other person. Oh, CT. CT Warrior. Oh, CT. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right. Cool. Lene got slightly better. Uh, neutral partner skill buff uh, being as buffed as is might overall get people to play around teams more because I feel like assists are a big part of like whether people pick teams or how pick people pick teams and as they should be but at the same time it's like I feel like it's it's really disheartening or really it, it sort of throws people off when when you, when you have one or two bad assists you feel like you don't want to play the character anymore yeah because then it's like do I do this one assist that only does X thing yeah like you don't have to overcompensate so Cool. She she can now so now she can use her five P, which goes in really fast, or she can use six P, which is also uh pretty good too. So you can sort of delay the timings on what what assist you're going to be using. Cool. Let's move on. I'll get I'll get four more characters up on the screen. Who do you got next? Waldenstein. Wallstein. Oh my God. Oh my God! These four new characters, these four characters coming up. All four of these characters are very good. Actually, like, Get ready. I think like the whole unit so cast is just straight up good. Cast is really good. <laughs> like it's they're just good, and you're like, holy shit, how? It's so weird. Uh, yeah, but I think that might go go more to what I was saying before, which is I feel like they translated really well. Yeah, they did. <clears throat> Okay. Anyway, get into this one. Uh, choo -choo. Well seen. Uh, extended hitbox forward for four BB. Okay. I guess it. Uh, I guess not hitting it when you're at certain ranges seems pretty stupid. But oh no, that that was a problem before they fixed that. That's actually really good. Yeah. So now you're standing about uh, once you get them to like overlap with the claws. No, not quite. It's like the full claw. Yeah, I think it's like if, we, if you get the whole claw to overlap them, that's the range you're looking for now. All right. No, that's that's, that's really good because some people get like jump B and they wouldn't be able to get a or jump C, jump A, I mean, and they wouldn't get a real confirm because it just push them too far out and you're yeah. like wait a second why so that's good so, yeah it's a nice quality of life buff let's see there's like a weird i gonna see if i can get this to working in the way it did yeah i there's a, there's a, a range now where i got it to hit and it didn't capture but it's still fully it fully confirmed still hmm so it uh functionally the same it just didn't capture oh okay that might be in what the buff is on the second hit. That's like I feel like that's the buff is like super apparent in in this case right here where you're hitting like just the end of it. Either one way or another, yeah, that's nice. All right, great. A bunch of a uh, bunch of German words. <laughs> I, I don't know any of his move names. I call them English names. Uh, what is this one? The skill never receives a damage bonus when used under certain circumstances. Is that his? That's his. Bank rip? This is a th throw slam. Yeah. This is a ex command grab. Oh. Oh, I think you have to do when you do the actual 360. Oh, um, this skill now receives a damage bonus when under certain circumstances. What does that mean? Oh no no. Uh... It, it means that if you actually do the 360, you actually get more damage as opposed to doing the 214 motion oh. or the 236 motion. Yeah, they want to do slightly more damage. They want to reward you for doing the 360 properly. I don't know how to do 360s. Okay, there you go. Hey, I did it. Uh, it looks like it's just a proper 360. Considering it's just a, what's it called? It's a, just a quarter circle. It makes sense for it to just to be a 360 as well. I'm not. I'm not doing a standing 360. That's impossible. What? 
I fucking suck at three six. I hate three sixties. I feel like you should have learned that. Nope. I play. I'm a really? I'm a guilty gear player. Our throw our command throwers are quarterback, uh, halfback, forward. Oh, I know, but like, I feel. <laughs> wow, really? Yeah. Dang. I hate uh, I hate three sixties with a passion. I I hella learned how to do like standing three sixties like years ago. I believe. 360s suck. It's a dumb input. <laughs> I fucking hate 360s. They're such a silly... In There's so many ways. There's so many better ways to make an input like this. Half but back forward. You, you got it. Oh my you can get it. Oh my fuck. Alright. 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 It's once. I'm never doing that, by the way. <laughs> the extra damage can go fuck itself. I'm getting I'm getting this every single time. All right, catastrophe. Uh, the skill can now grab an opponent while they're in hit stun. What does that mean? Hello? Oh, you can combo into his astral now. Oh yeah, you can combo into it. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Good. You should combo into astrals, even if it's a grab. <laughs> even if it's a grab, always combo into astral. This skill, uh, normal throw, now result into a full knockdown following up attacks, uh, allowing for follow attacks with normal attacks. Okay. Oh, because his throw used to, his normal throw used to, like, throw you straight down like you didn't get a combo? Maybe. What do you do? What do you do? Like, I think you just do, like, forward throw, and you do stuff. Yeah, because I think they actually have an animation where they bounce now. Okay. Because before it would just be like you get a throw and it was a knockdown, you you couldn't do anything else. Okay, you can get stuff now. Yeah, cool. It's good. More everybody should be able to do that. So, the fact that someone didn't is weird. First hit would not result in a full knockdown on a clean hit. Of his uh back partner skill. His back partner skill was rock throw. Yeah, I, I believe so. Yeah. Is there any situation where this didn't fully hit? I feel like it always fully hit. Hold on. Me too? I even tried to run her out of it. It didn't work. Because it pops them up in there. Yeah. Yeah, this is so hard to pull people out. Oh, hey. Look, I did it. All right. Weird. Uh, you still get knocked down. This is really specific. <laughs> that's, that's awkward. Yeah, it's it's Fuck. super awkward. Can you combo off this? Hold on. Uh, maybe. <laughs> you can totally combo off it. <laughs> There's so much untech time. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know anything about Carmine, so I can't do this. But this is really silly. If someone could do this in, in a tournament, I'd be really, I'd really, really appreciative. <laughs> <laughs> this is completely unnecessary. Oh my god, that is so unnecessary. That's hilarious. All right, cool. Uh, in case you accidentally do that or do that on purpose, you can get combos off of that now. Carmine is. What do you think about Carmine? I feel like he's like split in terms of like I see people say he's crazy good. Which is what I'm leaning towards. People think towards. he's bad? I th I've, had, I've had one or two people tell me that he's overhyped. He's... No. I, I, that's he, what I think. I think he's really good. He does so much damage by himself for nothing. Like, he doesn't have to use anything. He can get 8k by himself. He's one of the few characters that does get 8 Like, the grapplers. Like, Tager gets 8k on his own. But he's Tager. Right. He, has a lot of, like, he has a lot of faults to get 8k on his own. <laughs> and then Carmine doesn't have to spend any meter. He just does 8k and you're like, uh, what? And then he can get his life back if he does the A auto combo. Yeah. So, like, you lose a little bit of damage, but you get, like, your life back, which is pretty important. Yeah, it's super nice, actually, right? Like, the being able to still do that. Mm -hmm. Zap, if he didn't lose health while he was doing specials, he would be bad. Because all the specials would need to suck. 
The fact that actually, I remember when everybody was first talking about this character being in the game, everybody was saying this is ev like everybody's thought was if he still loses health while he's playing while he does his specials, he's gonna be good. That was everybody's fault or thought about it. You can do eight auto combo if it throw or so it throws you into a puddle. Oh, that makes sense. I'm really bad at Carmine. Okay, it's all right. Crouching B, reduced recovery frames. Really? Uh, on, on that move? Uh, I guess it'd be a better anti-air. Okay. I mean, I thought it was already a good anti-air. Yeah, me too. Let me see. Let me see. It's uh, what's it called? Anti-air frames. Doesn't really, it doesn't give any give me anything on dust loop. It's good. It's a good anti-air. It grows mega forward, so you catch people jumping in super easy. Uh, neutral partner skill increase startup speed. What's this neutral partner skill? Oh my god! He just dunks you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it just happens. It just happens. Before it was like a little bit of startup. Now it's just there, and you're like, oh, I got hit. That's really fast. Oh my god. It, yeah, that that that's kind of an insane buff, honestly. That's crazy. That's like one of those assists now that you just throw out just to put people in block stun. Or if it like hits, you get a combo, and you're like, yes, yeah. yes. That's crazy. All right, switch it up, Orie, Orie, Orie felt like. Do you have? Oh, you have a couple Ori players in 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 East Coast, right? In terms of just units or like in tag? No, in tag. There's like three? Yeah. Yeah, it's like three. She's really good. Like, she's so fucking strong. She's she's the she's the sword character that did not get enough play. But all the le it feels like all the, the fencing characters are are getting play more play now. Like we have an Ori Mitsuru player here that's really, really good. Cause that team like, Ori, is so good. She's like, like Ori is a character who like you can play her on point, and it's fine because she can support herself. And if she's the last character, she can also play by herself. It's it's one hundred percent all right. Yeah, she's she's just she's just so solid. She has everything. She has great pokes. Thrust is really stupid. Like she has re reloop combos by herself that does like six k, and she has self crosses with her jump C, and you're like, why? Yeah, her two B no. hits behind her too and you're like no oh yeah i remember that i remember seeing clips that... of people just, <laughs> just getting hit behind her it's freaking hilarious that shit is a travesty <laughs> that should not happen 100 percent no but it's hilarious it's like it, it hits so high up and it hits so far behind her and it's like wait like Jin Jin's 2b doesn't do that and Jin's 2b like goes to the top of the screen but it's slow as shit yeah oh god all right Ariel B to me. Is that a Ariel call? Command order. Yes. B to me. What is? I think it's um the the overhead persona call. I think so too. Or, uh. Changed behavior. Increased frame advantage after landing. Ariel B though the B version. Okay, sure. I think that's what it is. What other aerial moves does she have? That's like the only one. Uh, it's just it's just the persona calls. Yeah, she doesn't have any other aerial skills, so it has nope. to be that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Unless they mean her DP. No, oh, uh, no, they, it's it, her DP Sacred Arrow. That's right. Right. Uh, Zana says it, it used to make you recover backwards like 214A, oh. but now you go straight down. So I guess that was a change. Okay. Yeah, you used to, you used to like float backwards a little bit and land, but now you just like fall straight down. You don't like float back. Cool. I like that. All right, nice. Uh,. Fix the naming error. It was, it's the correct name is Sacred Spire Lucent. 
Okay. <laughs> Why is it in the patch notes? Let's. <laughs> Tactics move. All right. Uh, hip, uh, neutral skill, hitbox downward, uh, hitbox extended downward, lowered the blowback in the lunge attack, and raised the blowback of the rising attack. What's her neutral again? Neutral oh, is the, the, slashes. the persona call? Yeah. No, no, no. The slashes into the, the her uh, half forward C. Oh, right, right. And uh, in unist. Huh. Hmm. Uh, so lowered the blowback of the lunge attack, and then raised the blowback of the rising attack. So I guess when they're hit higher into the air, they fly further, but when they're on the ground, they don't fly as far back. Yes. That sounds about right. Okay. All right. So I guess one is to adjust if you get a hit on the ground, and the other one's if they're in the air, I guess you get a little bit more time. Yeah, that sounds about right. It used to oh, push a lot it? farther back. Oh, okay. So oh. this, so it since it's since they changed like the way that the blowback works. I think the way that they did it is to make it so that when it goes up, it it they've increased the the or they've made the tech time or the time to you for you to get to the character or the opponent you're hitting the same by making it so that the time the blowback's up instead of sideways. If that makes any sense. Wow, that was the easiest 7k I've ever done in my entire life. Okay. Uh, back partner skill? Increase, uh, increase untech time, or extended untech time. Uh, raise blowback height. Blowback height. That's her persona. That's the persona call where like you get a bunch of hits. 2-2-C. Two, two Just as an assist. Just yep. as an assist. Okay. Yep. As an assist, baby. Yep. Woo! Like the startup is slow, but that doesn't matter. You just get a mix up off of it. It's, it's insane. It's crazy. People, people, people were okay with this. All right. Tactics mode. Woo! All right. All right. Gordo. Uh, Clash assault extended hitbox downward. Okay. Mortal slide. Uh, divest. What's specifically divest? Mortal slide. Mortal slide. Extend the hitbox of the first hit downward. The skill can now be followed up with additional attacks only when the second hit alone hits the opponent in the air. I guess the pull in? Yeah. Like he does mortal slide and it's pull in now? I think so. Uh, wait, hold on. Mortal. Because 5BB is mortal slide. Mortal slide. Oh, it's EX Mortal Slide? Hmm. Let me see. Yeah, it's EX Mortal Slide. Okay. Hit hitbox extended on the first hit forward. This skill can now be followed up with additional attacks only when the second hit alone hits the opponent in the air. What the f This skill can now be followed up with additional attacks only when the second hit alone hits in the air. That's... Oh, okay. If... So is it only the second part? Like, if someone jumps over the first part and the second pulls them in, I guess you can combo yeah, off of it? That's, that's what it sounds like. I need to like see that. Okay. Let me set this button to. Rep oh, there it is. Okay. Hold on. I gotta dash first. Okay. Oh man! All right, that's really slow. I forgot six six is an assault. Oh my god, this is really hard. All right, because <laughs> I put I put it on a delay like an idiot. All right, um, there you go. Oh my god! All right, come on, 
doing it. This is <laughs> this is literally the classic situation. This is literally the situation where this is the most problematic. In Unist, in in Unis, this was the reason why this matchup sucked. Or Uniel, I mean. Oh yeah, way back. Fucking god, there's no way. Yeah, it looks clunky. Oh my god, uh, there's like. Okay, hold on. Let me. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna give this one more go. So I guess if you jump block the first hit and like. There it is. The oh hit. shit! You could probably combo off that. I'm waiting for that to show up. Block. Oh, nice. Okay. So, so this was the class. So the reason why I was doing it the the way that I was doing it is because in Unis this is the classic situation. This is why in, or in Uniel, I mean, in Uniel this is why this matchup sucked because you were able to throw out Mortal Slide and if he was able to guess correctly and assault over it, you still got hit. You still got hit. Yeah. So it was like a really really shitty matchup in that for that reason. Um, so guessing right like meant almost nothing. But <laughs> in that situation, I guess uh, if you use the EX meter, it might be it, it's similar. Now you're probably able to combo that. Cool, sure, why not? That might be this might like Gordo versus Big Bodies might be the only situation where this happens. Okay, cool. I'll put up four new characters and then we'll start on Merkava. Merkava. So these are characters that all got um. Released very recently. Yeah. So, my, probably not big change, change lists on them. Yeah. Although, I think we're saying that Merkava and... Actually, all four of these. Even, even Mika now seems like she has some stuff. It's, just, it's really weird. That character's so strong. That's good. <laughs> It's it's such a weird feeling. I'm not gonna lie. Like it's a mad weird feeling to say, "Oh, hey, yeah." Like she's really like, Meek is gonna come and get you. Like, all right. <laughs> Tell it to someone there. Like, like what? What are you talking about? Yeah. I just, fucking. All right. All right. Let's see. Let's put up Markava. Markava. I spring it to the sky. Sure. Is that... This is a uh, flight. Oh, the initial jump up motion now adjusts back and forward depending on the input direction. Oh, so I okay. Guess... So you can do eight, seven, and, oh. and fly and start flying backwards. Uh, or eight, nine, start flying forwards. That's pretty nice. I guess so. Before, it'd be like you have to do like eight, eight, and then hold uh, oh, one direction oh, or another. Right. Yeah. And that, that kind of got, because uh, I don't think people wanted to commit to, like, immediately having to hover. Yeah, the second thing is that I could see if you're trying to do this fast, where you're trying to do 889, I can I can see yeah. people accidentally getting an air dash. Yeah, that's clunky. Also, getting an 889 is such a pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah. Because it's not, it's not 6, it's a 9, and you're yeah. just like, what? You're like... But come on. It's like you do eight. It's like starting doing Magneto combos. Like you're doing eight and then holding it and like rolling it over. It's kind of weird. All right. Either way. Uh, that's nice. Gives a little bit more uh, ability to control. Mm -hmm. Feels much smoother than now compared to before. That's good. I'm glad that it's already recognizable. I soar the sky. This is a flight or a dash out of flight. Fix an issue where it mirrors certain <laughs> characters crouching positions. <laughs> that sucks. Good. I'm right, glad we, it doesn't. <laughs> we fixed those. Probably small characters like maybe Naoto and like Mika or something like that. Something like that. Yeah. I capture and devour. These Six really the dumb names. Did not generate like, any red health gauge on hit. It made me just realize that I just picked really stupid names when I started commentating Uniel. I was like, yeah, fucking. Whirly hands, grabby hands, like. Mm, I, I mean, I picked really I dumb. Get. Names. I picked because like really dumb names. Because the problem is, a lot of people don't associate like moves with motions. They're just like, oh, that that looks, you know, that's a, I would do that too. Like it's relatable. 
<laughs> yeah, it's just grabby ham. He's a it's, grab hand. It's, oh yeah, it's it's understandable. Like you, no one's confusing what this move is if I say grabby hand. <laughs> Man, <laughs> Murkoff was what a cool character. <laughs> what a dumb looking character. I love him so much. <laughs> uh, all right. EX, uh, grabby hands. Uh, fix the circumstance where the cancel to distortion skill under, uh, where it was cancelable under distortion skill. So, oh, that's right. I forgot in some situations, grabby hand was able to get a uh, combo into uh, supers. Really? Yes, that was a glitch. Holy and shit, so there are certain combos or certain situations where you could combo from grabby hand into super or uh, ex grabby hand into super, and now you're not allowed to do that. Okay, good. good, good. Wow, out of All resonance, right. I mean. Where you could cancel it. Yeah. So, oh, outside of res. Okay. Yeah. So now you have to. Now it's uh, in line with everybody else. I remember seeing this early on, uh, but. There hasn't been like a tremendous amount of Merkava players in in BB tag, so not yet. Anyway, not yet. Not yet. Yeah. I think I think when I think people are, are will come around and see how good this character is. All right, Batista, bane of my existence in pretty much every game she's ever existed in, <laughs> which is three now, I guess. Uh, so this is the life of a hide player. And now I I made it worse by starting to learn how to play Akatsuki. Oof. Yeah. Akatsuki's too cool. All right. Batista in change, uh, increased blowback distance on jump C. On the whole thing? Increase blowback. Is it, Can you... is it just jump C? It's, I... it's just dive into the hit. I, it, I thought the hit was a separate part. It, no, it's it's on its own. Or they're both, they're coin or they're together in a separate same button. You just hit it mm. once. Okay. Uh, if you do it really low to the ground, uh, you just get the DP or the the dive kick. Mm. So it has like no height restriction. Uh, oh. ch -ch -ch. Let me see. Uh, nope, wrong button. Trying to see if like the increased blowback gives you the ability to combo. I feel like it would in certain areas of the screen, because you have to be like kind of close, not too close to the corner, but close enough to like wherever they bounce off the wall. So you could do like dash two B or dash five uh, A or something. Just want to just want to shoot a fucking laser. God damn it! <laughs> I guess you gotta hit it twice. Okay, I just smash it. So the the. Uh, the perks of being a masher. All right. Well, you can at least combo it into a uh, laser. Cool. Uh, yeah, uh, it's a better combo ability. All right. Um, air, aluminum, aluminum, Stella. God damn it. <laughs> I love you, Undernight. God damn it, these names. All right. Lumen Stella. Oh. Uh, fireball. Oh. <laughs> Air fireball. Uh, motion has been adjusted. No change to overall recovery frames. What? what? Isn't it the same motion? Uh, it kind of curves downwards. Oh, the, the, the trajectory. Yeah. It kind of curves weirdly downwards now. Hmm. Sure. Uh, this might actually be better overall, but it makes it easier to jump. So it might I think it's a nerf, but it might be better overall for. Uh, it might make it harder to to punish. In some scenarios, I actually have no clue, like, if this is any better or worse. I would feel like it's better. I feel like it's better too. Because it's in terms of like, yeah, and it's like you can, like get away. Yeah. Okay, cool. Lux Fortis. Uh, big laser. EX laser. Increased frame advantage. Uh, before, uh, ground version was 10, and ground version was 10, and air version was 4. That's probably more like 6 and 0. Oof. 
probably. Is she still a charge character? Not in this game. Uh, it, Batista, the, despite me hating her uh, tremendously, is actually a very like a execution heavy character in in Unist. There's a lot of stuff that is sort of unintuitive in terms of a charge character, like forward holding and then back charges. That shit is not normal. It's it's really weird and it's super fucking annoying. And I hate playing her and I play playing against her. Uh, but at the same time, uh, in this game, she's much easier to play. Uh, and that's by design, obviously. They don't want to make this character very hard. I think the only <laughs> thing that would have made her easier than this version is that if she wasn't a charge character, but she was like a tap back forward character, like if you had Vorp roll. Uh, does she have flash kick still? Yes, it's her DP. Yeah, you just press uh, two hits for both of them or one hit just once for the first part. She's very good. She's very good in this game. Uh, I think she is a very, very strong zoner. And she's also a pain in the ass. Because uh, there's this thing. Oh, no, not that one. This other one. This thing. She's the big giant fuck you laser. It does a <laughs> shit ton of chip. Yes, in Eunice, she couldn't be able to counter hit. That was her trait. I hate it. It's super annoying. It's mega annoying. She just doesn't get a counter. Oh, my God. All right. All right. I'll start for days on this. Okay. She's overall unchanged. Still very good. There might be better combos. I don't know. With jump C and, and the C. new boop, new ball, ball. Uh, but we'll see. <clears throat> oh, is it in BB tag two? Is what I'm saying. I'm not sure. Oh, and yeah, she can't be counter. -hit. It's fucking stupid. She can't be counter in this game too. Yep. No. Great. It's actually, dumb as hell. Uh, this character. This character. They were like, yeah, let's bring that over too. It's like, why? Why? All right. Whatever. Fine. Yuzu. Um, fixed an issue. What, secret skill, lust birth, distortion skill duo. Great. All right. Uh, so Yuzu is like the latest batch, right? Yep. Yep. Second skill. Oh, my God. Uh, she's the latest patch, so her not having a lot of changes makes uh, quite a bit of sense. Okay. Uh, distortion version of her quarterback, uh, B plus C. Which is her IW. Fixing issue where the hits during the cutscenes is not properly combo. Really? I feel like I've always seen a combo. This skill can now kill an opponent, even if it didn't switch to its cutscene. Oh, so the DC skill no longer switch just cutscene when it's a sub character. That's weird. Skill can all kill an opponent even if you didn't switch to its cutscene. Yeah, Akatsuki is not in uh in in BB tag. BB tag. If he was, I'd totally be playing him. Well, not yet. Anyway, we we still got a lot more DLC to go through. We gotta. I gotta hope. I I don't even care if he ends up in the question mark. I just it's, it'd be so sick if he was in there. <laughs> All right. All right. There you go. Mika. Taco Bell. Fuck this character. Yeah. God damn it. Look at look all right. This is this is where it started. It's because when I was playing Burger Time like a year and a half ago or something, a year at this point, right? She right. she's a Mika player, right? Mm -hmm. And she would just run up on me. And this is the first time I played against Burger Time. She'd just run up on me. In 2A, when it had like when it was an actual 2A, right? <laughs> and I was like, "Why the fuck am I getting hit low? What is happening?" And then she would tell me that this is her crouch animation. Yeah, that's a crouch animation. Yeah, and you're like, "Wait, wait a second. I was like, "No, like, hold on, no, you're wrong." All right, all right. Anyway, Mika, uh, she's good. Yeah, she. I think she's strong as hell. She's very, very strong, and for. This character to be very strong after coming from Eunice is very, very weird, and I'm not used to it yet. So, give me time to adjust. This is a godlike anti-air in this game. Holy shit. 
Oh yeah. Crouch B just just ruins everything. You just press it in people's faces sometimes. Just why not? And you can just go back into like five A or something. Yeah. If, the, if it gets blocked and you're like, oh, I kept pressure. Neat. Yeah, she's very good. Okay. Jump B. Uh, position. Adjust the positioning of the effects. No change to hitbox. Uh, do jump B real fast. Hold on. Let me do it in the middle of the screen. Oh, ow. Did it was like the hit spark not where she hit or something? Yes. Oh. Well, now it is. Like you could, if you did it at, like at the top of the screen, and like you try to contest, yeah. it would just hit you, and you're like, that doesn't look right. It doesn't look like it should be getting hit from here. Oh. So they made it more of like, oh, her the the animation looks like it's now hitting you, instead of just like a a fucking space, just bopping your head, and you're like, what the hell's going on? So like that's gone. God bless. It's it's more of a visual clarity type of thing. Yeah, that's good. Mika Chan Cannon. What the fuck is? Oh, it's just Cannon. It's, it should be two, uh, Aerial Two Three Six A B with directions. Oh, is that what it is? Okay. Yep. Fix an issue where the style. skill was cancelable to distortion. Oh, fucking. Wow. I d I never saw this one. I definitely saw the Merkava one early on. I haven't seen this one. That one I saw because Unsafe plays this character. So he would do missile, missile whiff into super, and I'd be like, damn, why can't she do that? That sounds really stupid. <laughs> nice. Wait, man's wrong. She got so much damage yeah. off that. Mika hip strike. Uh, this is. A quarter, quarterback uh, super. Un extended untuckable time on hit. Isn't that the. It's a command grab. That's not the. That's the command grab. Right. So what? Like, it's a command grab. Of course, we're going to have more on tech time. Eight. I don't know. Three. Uh. You know, here. I have a one situation where I think this. So, there was. This was happening a lot in Tekken, too, where people were, like, get hit and, like, have more on tech time. It might be that you can't get punished for it anymore or something if you did it in the corner. Or might, oh. might be certain characters with like long range limbs that might be able to like hit her while she's hit her, like, right. yeah. So oh, okay. that might have been fixed. Okay, cool. Last four. This is so much easier when you have the changes. <laughs> like Belladonna. All right. So. Uh, famously, I would say with these characters that all three, uh, all or three out of the four saw great use, and the fourth one did not see as much, which was uh, Weiss. Weiss. Yes. Uh, Blake, y Ruby, and Yang. Uh, Ruby and Blake are considered to be very, 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 very strong. Um, Yang is considered to be very good, but not strong per se. However, people like punching people, so you saw quite a bit of her. And you didn't see much of Weiss because she kind of sat in a weird spot. Like, she didn't do good damage. Her setups were kind of hard to, to set up. Her assists were not great and She had at one all. good assist. She had the, the this one. Uh, oops. The 5P? Yeah, 5P. Yeah, that, that one's, like, good. But that one's, like, usually a combo filler. Or unless you have, like, a, a way to, like, teleport or something, it's nice. Yeah, but we were also talking about a second ago, right? Where we're just like, if you only have one assist, it kind of sucks. Sucks, yeah. yeah. Kind of de deters you from playing the character. Uh, or as opposed to playing other characters. Okay. So, we were saying early on as well that Ruby is probably one of the character only characters that got nerfs. Uh, but she's still very, very strong. This was one of them. Changed uh, Max Mimes. You can do uh, 2A and 5A to two yeah, times so instead of three. So you, before you could do 5A, 2A, 5A, 2A, 5A, 2A. Now you can do 5A, 2A, 5A, 2A, that's it. Yes. So that's a nice, yeah. uh, that's bless. Yeah. Because Jesus. Yeah, so that's good. Uh, Zap, uh, can you tag whenever? Uh, pretty much. As long as you have that blue bar down there, it spends just a little bit to, uh, to use that. And then if you have it, then you're able to do it again. You can also switch in the middle of your tag as well. So you can pretty much tag whenever. This game is very freeform. It pretty much allows you to do whatever you want. 
All right. Uh, Stampy, Jumpy, enlarge the hurt box. Yeah. This was <laughs> this was like just one of the more messed up like footsie buttons. Cause. <sighs> Yeah, you'd just be able to just, like, stand here and hit people with just it. Just do that. Yeah, you just... It was just really hard to mess with, so this is fair. But now you can counter poke it, so it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's nice. Oh, especially Jumpy? God damn it. Jumpy is, like... That's also another Bane. Yeah. Just Air Dash Jumpy. Like, especially you coming from, like, this range. Yeah, you can't do anything. Like, it's really hard to do anything about that and just straight up lose when you have an anti-air that's supposed to work. Yeah, so if you're like Blake in this situation and you go for like a 2B two, two or something trying to poke out, you you might lose for it, mm -hmm. which is pretty scary. Uh, now, that's probably a little bit harder to do. Okay. Um, bus saw Blast. Is that... Uh... Jump 236. Yeah, jump 236. Enlarge the herb box good i would just use this for fun like i would because it was so hard to mess with yeah this is 2b this is so it's a crazy good anti-air and it still is um I, yeah i would just do this because i could because like it was just so hard to do anything about yeah you just do like jump in do this you know why not fix an issue with this is cancelable to discortion uh to supers uh, I'm just trying to decrease the original per, uh, proration so it does more damage. That's cool. No longer affected by length of combo. Oh, hmm. Blake's 2B. Yeah, this is Blake's 2B. It's very, very good. Oh, <laughs> it, yeah, is also, it is actually a low as well. Oh, yeah. The thing is, she... Well, we'll get to Blake in a second. Yeah. Uh, EX Bus Saw Blast. This is quarter forward? Uh, you just you see. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Enlarge the hurt box, decreased additional operation. So it does more damage, but it has a bigger hurt box. No longer affected by length of combo. Huh, that's that's twice now. Oh, I guess uh, the number of hits in the buzzsaw would probably diminish depending on how many hits you did before you did buzzsaw. Yeah, so this makes it so that you're probably able to put this in your combo wherever it is. Yep. Yeah. And you Which, just get like you should get like the maximum number of hits for the damage. So that's good. Yeah. So that way you're always getting a knockdown if you spend a bar, which is fair in this game. Mm -hmm. Uh, Ruby. The good. That she's still very good. Like the things that make her really scary are still there. Still there. Yeah. These just make her not untouchable. Yeah. Basically. All right, Weiss. So she got, hey. she got a lot of changes. So first things first, standing B is now jump cancelable. For whatever fucking reason, her 5B was not jump cancelable on block or on hit. And it's just like, why? Yeah, that seems like, it seems like an oversight. <sighs> they could have maybe been afraid of um, it being really good, but... At least let it happen first. Yeah. Uh... Oh, her 5BB, the second part of 5BB is now jump cancelable as well. Same thing, that also should have been there from the start. Yeah, this uh, this felt like a an oversight for her because almost everybody who has this 5BB can jump cancel it. Yeah. Like the, the 5B that's just a poke to the upwards hitting and then you're able to jump cancel it into like a full easy combo. Mm -hmm. This was the e this was the easy combo, 5AAA or 5AAA. B, 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 or for her, it'd be, I think, 5A, A. B, B, jump B, jump B, jump B, C. This was the easy yeah. combo for everybody, except for her. Actually, yeah. I, I feel like that's not right. I feel like the second part of 5B, B was already jump cancelable, but it was inconsistent. I think it was inconsistent. Because, like, it wouldn't launch as high, and you'd have to do, like, jump A, B, or mm -hmm. jump B, A, one of those two. Weird. Yeah, I don't get it. Cool. But they fixed that, so that's what's important. Yeah, she now has an easy combo that works very, very well. Mm -hmm. Ice Shard. Projectile now moves faster. Change search timing and acceleration timing. Extended unteckable time. Extended knockdown time when shot downwards. 
Okay. So the first thing is it shoots faster, which is always good. Yeah. That's nice. Change the surge timing and acceleration time, meaning it doesn't take as long to like find where the opponent is and home in on that situ that position. It just like goes and homes at, at the same time, and it gets faster. Yeah. Extended attack time. That's actually really good because if you hit them in the air, then then they just like get tagged and you get a full confirm. Um, extended knockdown time was shot downwards. So if they're below, if you shoot it and they're below the trajectory trajectory of the ice shard it'll knock down you, you could probably get like a combo off of it too which is weird extended knock down time was shot downwards interesting mm -hmm. huh so i guess like if uh you do it pretty high and they get hit right below it it's like it's like all right get a pick up do like 2b or 2c or something i could see that mm -hmm. uh Ah, hold on. Let's see if I can get this to work. Ah, almost. Okay. Cool. Hey, CBT. How's it going, man? Hope you're doing well today. Oh, thank you for the follow, though. I appreciate it. Uh, Glyph Dash Strike. So this is her quarterback, right? 214? Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's 214. Okay. Uh, extended the hitbox downward and extended travel distance. This was uh, similar to Orie and Mitsu, so it makes it uh, makes it more consistent. I'm a, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, changes across the board. Twisting air step, eight A, and during select moves. Twisting air step. What? What is what is that again? Accessible during uh, two one four X and two one four or jump two one four X when near glyph. Oh right, right, right. Huh. Okay, so you have to set the glyph beforehand, and then yeah. you when you do two one four series, you you press eight and a button. Yeah. That's pretty nice. Okay. So wait, did they buff each one? Increase frame advantage. It looks like piercing it. air step. Increased frame advantage. Added invincibility against body attribute attacks from the middle of its motion. Jeez. Yeah. So upper body invul. It's probably when fair. you're doing it. Yeah. Hmm. Piercing air step. This is uh same thing but eight B. Eight B. CPT. Nice meeting you too, dude. Hope you see you on Wednesday night fights again. Obviously not this week because we're off, but uh, sometime soon. Oh, SCR, right? Yeah, SCR. Mm -hmm. The the guys who run C uh, Wednesday night fights are, uh, unfortunately, the people who also run ones or what's it called? SCR. So that means we're yeah, we're off this week. You're mm -hmm. visiting from Boston? What the? F All right. Well, yeah. you know, I'll see you when I see you then. <laughs> yeah. What the hell? That's crazy. All right. Well, hey, cool. Uh. Maybe maybe a little bit before I make it back. Well, it was cool talking to you for just that second. And uh, there's there's this dude I I just sat down with and we're like, because uh, Wednesday night fights was when uh what's it called the Tekken notes just came out right. So right, right. And he told uh, I we were like let's sit down real quick and go through the patch notes. He let me go through Leo real quick. I was like mm -hmm. it'll be really cool to just go through Kazia together. And then he we went through Kazia, and you know, he was <laughs> he was he was pretty cool to do that. So. He, nice. Yeah, he had much better execution than I, so he was able to actually be like, "Is this possible?" And he's like, "Yeah." And then he does it. <laughs> so yeah, it was cool. It was cool talking to you. I want to get on the East Coast sooner than later. So next time, you need to pick a good event for that. I know. Like I, I know. feel like you can't just. I mean, you could just show up, but you can't just show up for an event. You have to show up for a good event first. Then you can like be in New York, and it's good. Out there was out there for D two expansion you know, to play with my squad in real life and was able wanted to hit up Wednesday night fights. Now you're sick. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That sucks, dude. Wait, D two Destiny two. Uh, Wait, I think so. What was this? The expansion just came out. All oh, right, there was a all oh, right. There was a big ass thing down there. Right, they still have problems with that. With D two and like all the changes, like mm. they keep having like server 
maintenance and stuff. I want to play D2, but like, I I need the game to like be stable first. Oh, really? That, that, that that well, it's not it's not it's not bad because they're doing a bunch of changes to make the game better. It's just like they still need to like implement everything. And, like, there's a bunch of stuff that has to get fixed constantly. Gotcha. Okay. Cool. Like, cool, cool. it's gonna make the game better. I, I just I just need to wait first before I commit again. Yeah. Uh, CBT says that he thinks the expansion is pretty cool. So, dope. That's what everyone's been telling me. I might go yeah. back. Cool. Uh, I know I don't play that game because if I do, I will only play that game. I know, <laughs> I, know, I know myself very well, and for the longest time, I wanted myself like that. Exactly what Destiny is. So, I need, I need to do fighting game things. Bro, just play the game. No. I need to do it's fighting fine. game things. I, I did both when I played Destiny. I, I did both. Come on, man. I can't. Otherwise, I'll just... Otherwise, I'll do nothing but not play fighting games. I mean, technically, I already don't play fighting games, but, like, I, I just wouldn't stream Destiny. That's all it would, would be. I wouldn't stream it. It'd be, like, something I would enjoy on my own. Enjoying things on your own? What? Unbelievable. Right? Unbelievable. Don't need to stream it? In, this, in this scene, enjoying yourself? You trying to use Oof. trying to use the the other word? You trying to avoid the f word here? Oh, fun! Yeah, yeah. I actually didn't say fun. Wow, I'm crazy. <laughs> I really thought I would have said fun there. Nope, that word that word is banned. Cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on my uh my watch. Now that now that I'm uh what's it called? Affiliated. I can put that on my blocked words. <laughs> Imagine someone comes in here and he's like, "Man, this game looks like a lot of fun." He gets fucking banned. He gets banned. You're like, "Whoa, wait, no wait f second. word in here." He said the he said the f word. Get him out of here. Okay, cool. So increased frame advantage on both of her moves that require a glyph to go through. So not only does it require actual setup, but you also weren't able to get great uh, situations out of it. So it's nice that you're able to now. <laughs> uh, uh, what was the other thing she got? Let's see, pirouette, raised blowback height, pirouette. Is that the mm. eight C off of the glyph? Yes. Oh, okay. Increased blowback height. So I guess better combo ability again. Mm -hmm. Gotta look. Gotta watch all the. Uh, the new, the new people who are messing with Weiss be like, oh shit, this is fun now. A Ice Pillar. Re reduce recovery frames. Okay, so it's 2-2-A. Two, two, yeah. Is it fast? Is it that much faster? Oh shit, it is way faster. Fam. Holy, look at this. Yo. <laughs> Jesus Holy Christ. Shit. That's insane. This is way faster. Dude. And then 2-2-B is the same. It's a little bit slower. That looks so fast. But... That's crazy. And then, yeah. And then the B Ice Pillar increased armor strength against projectiles. So I guess it's not as easy to sh projectiles, which is also insane. Because like yeah. you have to commit to get over it. That's wild. I wonder how many hits it has. Uh, let me try if I, let me see if I can do this right. All right. I'm really bad at these sorts of things. Okay. Oh, fuck. I messed it up. All right. Let me try one more time. Uh, what is it? It's 2-2-B. Two, two, okay. Yeah, 2-2-B, two, 2-2-A. Two, 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 All right. It's at least two now. It's me, like, trying to switch between characters. I'm trying to get this oh, to wow. work. Wait, do you have Yang? Oh, I do have Yang. That's right. Yeah, just just firecracker. Oops. Of course, I have it. All right. Um, let's see. Switch. Uh, uh, what am I doing? What's the input? 2-2-B and then change characters and then quarter forward C. Mm -hmm. Three hits. That's a lot. Yeah. That's a, that's a lot. Holy shit. 
Okay. All right. That's a nice. That's a, actually another nice buff. Yeah, that's way good. This uh, is so fast. Oh my god. Yeah, that used to never be that fast. That took way longer. That this just just in your face, and you're like, wait a second. Like, hold up there. Yeah, you mean doing like. You can do like uh, what's it called? Stuff like that, where you do like two two. Two two A set. It's so like I can see people getting away with this. Yeah, cause like ugh. it's way fast. Oh man, I got an idea. Hold on. Oh man, let me see if I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Obviously, they're in block though, so it'd be. Let's see. Uh, jumping block. There you go. Well, you're trying to like do a block string yeah. call and assist. Do That's two way eight. easy. That's so easy to do. That's mad scary. Look at this. And then like they're 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 on a wall that doesn't exist. Yeah. You're just like, what's going on here? That's so good. That's super cool. Yeah, there's some stuff to do with that now. Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. All right. Precision parry. Fix an issue where the opponent was taking a guard motion. Oh, okay. So it was the parry was causing a proximity guard. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, there's a couple of changes like that, right? Yeah. There'd be like some stuff where like you did a move that didn't. That wasn't an attack, but it mm -hmm. still caused a proximity guard. And you're like, uh, I'm stuck blocking even though I don't want to be. No. Uh, did my boy Carmine get nerfed to the ground? No. <laughs> He's fine. No. This is a, this is all that got changed. Two lines, and they're both technically buffs. He's very yeah, good. He's still. Fine. Yeah, he's fine. Yeah, he's good. There's almost no nerfs across the board. I feel like I can count the amount of nerfs on my hand. I think most of those are Ruby too. Ruby and Nauto got like one or two. Yeah. But that's like it. Like Ruby was, mm. she's now in line with the rest of the cast in terms of just like how crazy she is. Yeah. There's literally very, very little, pa um, very, very little patch or uh, b nerfs in this. Looking forward to mm -hmm. killing people with one touch still. Yeah, there you go. Never you know. The hell out of that. Yeah, you know. Because like Carmine's, uh, he does all the damage. Yeah. With, with like one bar. Okay, let's see. Ex ice shard uh, projectile moves faster. We said that. Um, uh, search timing. So uh, more in line with the rest of our ice shards. Oh right. right. Yeah. Uh, extended untech time. Extended knockdown time when shot downwards. Okay, so it's pretty much the buffs from the other projectiles put into ex ice shard. Yeah. It was good. The magic circle no longer. I started for the magic circle no longer disappears when tagging out. Huh. That used to tag. I didn't used notice. To, I didn't notice either. That sucks. <laughs> I, well, thank God they thought that through. Yeah. It's holy uh, shit. That, that would be unfortunate. Uh, let me see if I can get this to work. Yeah, it's still there. Sick. All right. Well. That was a problem, I guess. All right. No Set throw. magic circle. The positioning of magic circles have been changed for the A and B versions. Wait, they changed oh. position. They're talking. Assist. Oh, so when you no no when you do two three six. Wait, I shard the magic circle no longer disappears when tagging out. Set magic circle. The positioning of the magic circles have been changed for the A and B versions. So do. Do 236 a hold. And I guess it's just like further forward. That's it weird. It might feel like it. Yeah, they look like they're further forward than where they used to be before. They, they used to be closer to ice. Hmm. Okay. So I guess they made it so that you don't have to be... The opponent doesn't have to be as close to you so you can use them. You can just put them out there and you can like go. Yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, Xana was saying that S can, uh, can contest a lot of projectiles with A and B, but she won't break ice wall with one hit. She has to use C. Whew. That's already something, man. 
get people to spend a bar just to go through it. That's definitely a thing. That's so hand. Right. Uh, normal throw. Increase frame advantage on a hit, making with normal attacks. So her throw's better. Yeah, her throw's better, I mean. Yeah. I I'd agree that she needed that. Yeah. Increase frame advantage on a hit or... Okay, sweet. Yeah, it's super easy to get dash of 5A. Nice. Damn, nice. That's so good. I'm just bad. Yeah, sweet. That's Matt. You can you can totally do uh, that. That's practical. Okay, her sis. Uh, 5P, extending the hitbox downward. Yep, that's, that's like the universal 5P for most characters. Yeah. Oops, change 5P. Yeah, any any like forward lunging move like that pretty much got that same change. Yeah, that buff, right? Yeah. Uh, six P, projectile now moves faster. Change search time. Oh, so it's her projectile that got buffed, which means her six P got buffed. Yes, exactly. Holy shit, that's insane! And it is so fast now. Yeah. It's actually crazy fast. Like I'm, I'm glad it did that. Uh, four P, extended the hitbox downward. Change hit stun behavior. Increase movement speed. Increase movement speed. Uh, let me see. Increased movement speed? Does it mean she f moves fa forward faster? Yeah, it feels like she lunges uh, a bit faster. Hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty good. I like it really good. Yeah. Damn, she got nothing but buffs. She looks really good. She looks like a new character, but she's also, I think, unobvious, like on terms of how how much better she got. It takes someone mm -hmm. who like really plays uh, Weiss to figure this out. They're probably happy as fuck. They're like, thank They're you, God. Super happy, yeah. They're like, thank you for like giving me these quality of life buffs. Flux is so is freaking out right now. I don't know. He might still be playing new Mitsuru. That's true. Uh. All right. All right, Blake. Blake, woo! She is one of. She's so good. God damn it! I think she she's the second best uh, Ruby character. Yeah, and she's and... probably like top, like so easily top ten in the game. And top ten is is uh, is a list full of people who might be fucking uh, slightly overplayed. To be honest, mm -hmm. like they're just so so good. But I, I also kind of believe she's top five in some regards. Yeah. But like, I'd have to go through, like, the whole cast again. She's really good. She's, like, she feels like she's not getting as much play as maybe others are. She's not as easy. But she's very good. Like, she's not as easy as, like, Jin, Hyde, Narukami. Um, but she's still so good. Hmm. Okay. Shadow Clone. Uh, that's Stone Clone. Shadow clone, 2-2-B. Two, two uh, effective time increase. Uh, increase the shadow effect. Oops. I guess it's longer? It doesn't really feel oh. like it. Okay, it, like... Oh, it stays out right. longer? It stays out longer, and she's actually invisible for longer when she's in it. You'll, okay. you'll see. Because that used to not be that long. Yeah, that's actually a little bit longer than it used to be. A little bit, not too much, though. Okay. Slightly more. Dash cancel, increased frame advantage. What moves? During certain moves. What were, what were her moves that she can frame? Uh, dash cancel? It was. 5AA? 5AA. Maybe? Yeah. 5AA. Wow, that's really fast, actually. Um, What else? Yeah, yeah, five A and then that dash cancel is kind of kind of ham. That's really fast. Mm -hmm. Dash cancelable five A A is also dash cancelable. It depends on what the frames are now of those normals, because I don't think they touched the normals. It was just the dash cancel they 
It was bad. According to um, Dust Loop, it is uh, dash cancel version is negative 12, negative 12, negative 12. So it's probably better across the board. Oof. Uh, but it doesn't feel like it's negative 12. At least not anymore. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Normal throw. Increased frame advantage, making it easier to follow up with normal attacks. So, easier to... She's way... They're way closer. And they're, like, she... Oh, okay, man. yeah. Yeah, this is way easier now. You can just mash a 5A combo, at worst. Because before, I think you had to do, like, 6A. Yeah. So, like, you'd have to do, like, the micro dash run and just, like, go forward. Hmm. All right, I guess she needed that. Yeah. Uh, it, it's a, one of the other universal changes where people are a lot of people are getting easier combos or easier throw combos. Okay. Um, back partner skill. This is boom. Oh no, this is uppercut. Raise blowback height. Hmm. Uh, oh my fuck! What? Was uh, Yang's this high? Oh my, oh my god. god, it is. It was that high. I never noticed. This is crazy. Yeah, this gives you just crazy on tech time now. <laughs> okay. That's it's all right. Weird. Okay. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> all right. Yang. Yeah. It's my baby girl. All right. 5B. This attack now has an armor effect against projectiles. <laughs> that's... That's uh, so strong. That's so good. And I uh, don't know why I didn't get it there, but God bless. On, uh, record. Oh, man. I missed it. Alright, we can do this. Come on. We can do this. This might be harder. Woo! That looks really funny. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> so nice. It was so good. Oh, I just get to punch through projectiles. That shit is so sick. God. <laughs> you know I'm just gonna bless, sit you know I'm just gonna sit in the background. Like I'm just gonna sit at Yang back here and I'm just gonna fucking five beat the shit out of projectiles. Just Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> fuck your fireball. Fuck this. Oh, fuck that. Man, that's great. All right. Uh, five BB increased startup speed, uh, increased travel distance, increased uh, frame advantage, and now has armor against projectiles as well. Uh, this is this isn't as used because her five BB uh, like it just puts her upwards. So it's more of those things. I feel like if you're doing both, it might be good, but on its own, it's not. The frame advantage is not like that crazy. Uh, five BB at the moment. Five BB is negative eleven, so increased frame advantage there. Um, so it's not just straight up punishable, like if you let it rock without a projectile afterwards. Yeah. Hmm. Might be. Hmm. Burst of embers, reduced recovery. Frames upon miss. Burst of Ben. Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, no, uh, embers, right. Reduce recovery frames upon miss. Reduce recovery frame. Okay. This attack uh, now has armor effect against projectiles. Yes. So, one of her other only armor moves. Um, so, it's 2 and 4 uh, A. Uh, it's the rush move. Mm -hmm. So, let me try this. Uh, record. So, if you miss, you just. Do you don't do the the out. animation anymore. Whew. That's so good. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. That's so good, like. <laughs> She's in there now. She's there. She's like so. What's going what on? Up? <laughs> Alright, it's, like, it's not that it's that uh, crazy, but that was still really funny God, looking. That's, yo, what's up, homie? It's like yo, I'm in there. Like as long as you do it fast enough, you can get through projectiles oh if you God. time it correctly. 
God forbid you do a single projectile. <laughs> so you just yeah, you're hit again that ass. <laughs> and then it's like, oh, do you get hit? Sweet combo. I have an assist. I'm going in. Oh man, <laughs> that's so sick. <laughs> All right. Oh man, I'm gonna love playing this character again. I'm so happy. <laughs> I found another way to style on people. It's not going to win me games, but it's going to make me feel it's really good. Gonna be fun. It's going to be hella fun. Yeah, exactly. That's that's why that's why I play Yang. I don't play Yang. I don't play Yang to win games. I make, play Yang to make other people feel bad. <laughs> oh, all right. Uh, Burst of Embers. That is. Uh, oh yeah, that's what we're talking about. Too hot to handle. Oh. That is um a wheel kick after Burst of Embers. Increase blowback height, so they, they they oh raise blowback height so they get knocked up higher. Um, that might that this combo might be easier in the corner now. Oh, um. yeah, they pop up higher. Yeah, yeah, they pop up higher. Holy shit! Man, I. Used to be good at this combo. Yeah. Okay. That combo is much boom, easier to hit boom, now. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, yeah. I don't even feel like I have to time it. I was. I would seriously just mass that shit out. No problem. Yeah. Back step. Extended invincibility frames making consistent with the characters. Yeah, her back dash was trash. Yeah. Good thing so. I never used it. So, <laughs> bro, not a change for me. <laughs> bro, that shit, like, I wanted to create space. I couldn't get space because I was getting hit by characters, like, long-reaching 5 A's. I was like, fuck out of here, yeah. garbage. But that that's a nice, uh, that's very nice, actually. Yeah. Uh, tactics well, mode. Right, so because of these buffs, she gets new combos. They'll be in the tactics mode, a.k.a. the mission mode, for these mm. characters. That makes me think. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else? Oh, replay data. Replay data will unfortunately not be updated through this patch. Therefore, replay data of old game versions will not be playable after this update. So if you have replays at, before this update, you don't keep them anymore, unfortunately. Holy shit, that's kind of bad. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> Alright. But it, it also is an indication of how they, uh, how they save replays, which is probably a series of inputs. Uh, mm -hmm. Played into the game over again. Game. So, yep. Okay, so wow, that's it for all the changes. It looks like. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Uh, how do you feel? Like it's good. Like it makes character. It makes um characters real characters now. Yeah. Because there's there's a lot of characters who are just like, yo, know, the, like they don't need anything crazy. They just need some qual. Like they need to feel like they have rights. As a character, because <laughs> some characters are just like, "Hey, it would be nice down if by the I... man too much." Yeah, it's like, "Hey, it would be nice <laughs> if I had this small thing. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be OP, but like, I would definitely, it would, it would definitely make it so that I don't feel as bad when I did this." Yeah, and then it was just like, "Nah," and now they have it, so I'm just like, "God bless." God bless indeed. Yeah, uh, I really like Ragnus changes. After I tried them out, I thought they were pretty cool. Um, <laughs> a lot. Uh, it's one of the few characters that, like I I knew how to play a little bit beforehand, so it, some of his changes were apparent to me. But like some of the ones that are like Rachel, I could see Rachel playing, getting a little bit more play now. Yeah. Um, a lot of the characters I have to I have to retry Makoto. Maybe her game plan's a lot scarier now. Uh, they didn't fix her her bigger problem, which is that her assists really suck, but. Uh, if she can, if her point game is much better, then it might be worth it. We'll see. Uh, the old platinum. I really hope I see some platinum uh, players. Some platinum players she, would be mad sick. She's kind of those assist buffs are kind of ham. They're super cool. Oh man, they're actually it like it's gonna take a certain type of player to be good with a platinum. At least assist wise, but I think if you can do it, it it's gonna be so cool. Ooh. Uh, shoo. Yeah, a lot of the DLC characters didn't get changed yet, uh, for the most part, which was pretty cool considering um, that means that they're still watching them, and uh -huh. it also probably means that we'll probably get another patch in like another three four months. That's that's what I thought about that. 
Oh yeah, because like we need those characters, then we need to wait like three months, and then we get most likely we'll get a patch again. Depends yeah. on what else they're trying to do. Yeah. Uh, big changes to a lot of characters that were considered to be uh, underplayed or maybe underpowered. Uh, mm -hmm. Chie and Yukiko definitely stood out as uh, two big winners in this one. Uh, who knows if they actually get more play, but it seems like they'll at least be better at their at what they're supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. um, what else? Yeah, uh, I really like this patch. Like this is this is one of the best patches I've seen in in quite some time. Like in across fighting games, this is in in the sense of that most people coming uh, out of this patch feel good. Uh, one of the yeah. things that Air said that I thought was really interesting and, and a good way to put this was that after the patch is over, it doesn't matter if your character got good or not. It's whether you feel like a winner or a loser afterwards. And I think the most of the people are going to feel like they're winners. And Ruby players and Naruto players really shouldn't be feeling like losers because their changes mm -hmm. were not that big. Yeah, it doesn't... The changes don't... The, they don't take away your ability to play the game. It doesn't even t take away any of your stuff that like make your game good. It's just one of those mm -hmm. things that sort of like maybe an oversight or make you super duper ignorant, and uh, right. those things got changed. Which is fine. I think keeping you in line with their like instead of you being on a plateau from everyone else, you're you're now you're still at the top, but you're not you're not un unattainable. Yeah, exactly. How's it going, just, Iron God? Hope you're doing well. Good. We just got through done with the patch notes. I'm pretty happy with most of them, uh, if not all of them. I think maybe they're like at most like one or two questionable changes, but yeah, for the most part, and I think that's just like need more testing. I think yeah, be. it's one of those things that like it, it may be not apparent at first uh, first glance, sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'll be probably be playing quite a bit of this in the coming weeks or coming week, up until SCR. Uh, yeah. trying to sort of get an, a lowdown on some of the changes and, and getting a better idea. Sometimes just pressing the buttons while you're in the game help quite a bit. Yes. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm really excited. I uh, don't know if anybody will change their team before SCR since we got the patch just now, but I think we'll at least see a couple of people uh, maybe try some new things or maybe uh, those people who were playing other characters that maybe switched off them because they felt like they weren't good enough come back and try them again. Yes, I'm hoping for that too. Especially if, if I see a Platinum in Top 8 at SCR, you better believe I'm going to lose my shit the entire time. Because <laughs> if I see someone combo off a fucking RNG assist, I will lose it 100% without a doubt. That, that shows they have the the wherewithal to play that character. Like, Dude. oh, this is the assist? Cool, I'm doing this route. This is the assist? I'm doing this route. I kind of want to play... Is there... Or let me ask you a question, because this is things that came up in my head as going along. Is there any teams sure. that you wanted to try out after the changes? Um, I definitely want to play Weiss again. I definitely want to play Weiss Jin. Yeah. Lene, Jin, Lene Weiss. Weiss um, uh, What else is there? Weiss Yang. Weiss Yang uh, seems like it'd be pretty good. Yeah. There was. I think I want to try Ragna with a bunch of people too. Same yeah. thing. Yeah. Which is just like, hmm. I never thought I'd want to play Ragna again, but like now it's just like, oh, Gauntlet Hades to jump can on block. I'm like, uh, yeah, I'll take that. Sure. <laughs> what the fuck was this? Oh my god. This is what this is one of my favorite changes of all time. Like, what a uh -huh. crazy thing to do. We went through fucking 17,000 versions of BB and fucking not once did this happen. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Or A can do that now. Because she doesn't fly backwards. She just, like, falls straight down. Uh, Here, let me throw this on here real quick. Yeah, she got buffed. Yeah. So. Oh, nice buff. Here. Sorry for the loudness real quick. What the fuck? Ah! <laughs> That's mad cool. Yeah, because like she used to fly backwards and she wouldn't get the space, but now because she falls straight down, she can kind of like fall down, uh, neutral jump TK, do that move, neutral jump TK, do that move, and it's just like it's a loop. You know I'm all for loops, so I'm a big fan of this. That's mad sick. So much damage. That's so cool. 
That's way cool. Thank you for showing me that. That's mad sick. <laughs> Thanks, Anna. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, I hope I see that in tournament. I will. Man, that made me more excited. People already come up with new things. I'm I'm really happy. Yeah, people are grinding it grinding it out. Like I'm I'm gonna get to work tomorrow morning and be like, all right, what happened? And people are gonna be like, yo, Man. check this out. Yeah, waking waking up day after patch is actually one of the scariest things because you wake mm -hmm. up and like Japan's already been on it and they're like, yeah, we discovered it, we broke the game, and you're like, all right, thanks, I appreciate it. <laughs> Fucking, <laughs> I didn't even have a whole week with the game yet. Yeah. So, that's cool. I'm really happy for this. Uh, yep. I'm really happy that like even all the characters who seem to be top tier didn't get changed all that much. Jin, Hyde, mm -hmm. Narukami, uh, yeah, Sword Boys and friends like uh, Gordo, Ruby. Well, a lot of yeah, characters didn't fine. get changed, and uh, mm -hmm. I think that goes along a line with uh, a lot of what they said uh, when I did the when I did the interview with them at Arc Live, right? at Arc Live, where they were like. Yeah, we're kind of letting this rock right now. You know, characters just got released. We don't. Th we think that the the meta, as it developed at Evo, is an indication of having two months before a big giant tournament. Mm -hmm. Um. So I think that they're it, with that statement. This feels like that where they're like, let's see where the meta develops. It's not going to be all sword boys in a couple of months. Um. And I think I have to agree with them to certain uh, to a certain point. I think we'll probably still see a lot of top tier play with Sword Boys and, and friends, but I think that with some time before the first Arc uh, Arc Revo tour in the U.S. tournament, which is Frosty. Uh, oh, so are they starting next year? Uh, no, the first one is Southeast Asia Majors. Wait, that's in like yeah, isn't that next month? Yeah. Or is it? Jesus. October about a month from now, October fourteenth, fifteenth, if I recall correctly. Wow! All right. Uh, no, thirteenth, fourteenth. Um. Okay. So yeah, we'll we'll see. Uh, I think. So for us though, for most of us uh, who are non-travelers uh, or not uh, overseas travelers, we will first one will be frosty. And for Ooh. a lot of people in Japan, uh, their first tournament will be Evo Japan. Japan, right. So uh, that's about four or five months for most people to develop a new team. I would expect this patch to rock until then, at the minimum. Uh, Depends I think, on when the DLC comes out, I think, too. Yeah, that's true. I think uh, we might see a little bit of a break. Cause they, I think they let... You know, my thought was that they let all three DLC rip, and they intended to just uh delay them like the rest of them oh like one at a like one pad one one group, group at, a at a time and then they just let it rip because they're like you want to blow people's socks off and uh <laughs> they There's they nine characters at once because they tried their best to sort of um over or or sort of beat what they did last year which is announced bb tag which was a huge announcement right yeah and i don't they, think anything beats that honestly no it's really hard to but um i think that they did a really good job with Arc Revo release uh, in terms of mm -hmm. like big hype announcements. Yes. Uh, so this, I, I, I would expect this patch to rock until at least Evo Japan. That's the end of January, right? Uh, February, mid February. So about five yeah. months. Wait, when is Frosty? Frosty is in mid July or January. Sorry. Evo Japan mm. is February. Evo Japan. Right. right, right. And since those, oh, okay. those tournaments are close enough together, I don't see a patch in the middle of them. Okay. Uh, and All right. Then, yeah. Hmm. At the worst, we might see a patch in December. At worst. Yeah, at worst. Yeah, which I think is okay. Yeah. It's still there. Yeah, it's still fine. At best, uh, I think we get it right after Evo Japan or a week mm -hmm. or two after Evo Japan, uh, in right. response. Because I could, th I think by the time we get to Evo Japan, we'll have a good indication of what we consider to be pretty good in this patch. Yes. So, uh, I like this quite a bit. I'm I'm pretty happy with most of the changes. I'm more I'm more excited to see how the DP change. Uh, if if taking red life is uh, ends up being a huge deal, right? Like if if taking red life ends up being because I don't feel like recovery is that big in this game in terms of uh, health recovery. But I might be skewed in I 
I might be skewed in thought because I'm thinking in comparison to Dragon Ball Fighters. Dragon Ball, yeah. Like, recovery still matters. It's just that, like, you still need to have your assist being used. Yeah. And that, and that halts their recovery. Yeah. When they're on the screen. Yeah, so uh, I think that maybe DPs might come into people's games or as combo enders, which <laughs> is a good way to give them a little bit more utility. Because uh, I remember, like, in Persona, this felt like a, a change in, in more regards to Persona 4, where a lot of characters had really useful DPs outside of them being proper DPs. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think they like that, which is fair. Hmm. All right, so hopefully... I don't know. Well, SCR is the next big tournament, and Seo Taco is the week weekend after. Yes, SCR. So, so we have a lot of a lot of data coming up mm -hmm. for this. I'm pretty excited for both of those. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know if we'll see. Yeah, a lot of people change their teams for those two, but afterwards, I think we got uh, a few tournaments, so we might see some difference there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, I'm really excited. I'll probably mess with a little bit of stuff. And uh, try to see what's up with some of these new changes. Yeah, I I want to try I want to try Ragna. Uh, what's it called? I forgot. <laughs> I, I want to try Ragna uh, Platinum. Uh, yeah, actually, yeah, that sounds. Hella that sounds good. like a, it sounds like a ton of fun for a team. Ooh. Yeah, I probably should learn Platinum too. Honestly, yeah, those, uh, those assist changes sound wild. If they end up being really, like, I just feel like it's one of those uh, characters where you have to play a bunch of games and sort of recognize uh, what they're, what they're really, all, like, how to play around it. It's sort of like when you play Faust or, or uh, Arakune or mm -hmm. Teddy. It's like it, you, when you learned how to play Teddy, it wasn't sort of obvious how to, like, originally play around the items. But well, as you played more and more, it became more and more obvious uh, deciding mm -hmm. what decisions to make and stuff like that. Right. All right, sounds good. Uh, yes, we, sir. We got this done pretty well, I think, this time around. Yeah. Actually, yeah. I, I also think it would have helped if we had the patch on, like, Monday. God damn I'm not, it. Well, yeah. Yeah, if we got it, like, Monday early, it would have been easier to be like, okay, let's go through this. And, like, as we're talking, so we could just show what we know has changed and stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. That would have been a little bit better, but it's fine, though. It's cool. All right, sounds good. All right, I'll I'll cut the stream here. Uh, this was pretty fun. Thank you for joining me on this because this helped a lot. Like sort of just uh, piecing this through together. We have SCR coming up, and I'll be doing that. So it's a uh, I'm happy that we got to do this. Yep. Yeah. No problem, man. All right. Appreciate it. So I'll let you get to bed. I know it's like really late yep. where you're at now. And One a.m. Woo. All right. Sounds good. All right. <laughs> Everybody who is watching, thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate it tremendously and all the follows and everything like that. Uh, hopefully, I'll have more BB Tech stuff to come and try new characters. But for now, I appreciate all the support. Thank you, guys. And uh, thank mm -hmm. you, Fox. Yeah, no problem. Anytime. All right. Not y'all. Take it easy.